No, I was just trolling. In fact, we are here today. It is Pokemon Scarlet and Violet release day. I say we because the agency is here. Yo. Joined by Professor Aim, the doctor. That's right. Finally, guys, the game is out. You know we're hype. We've been posting such fire Gen 9 content on both of our channels. And I know y'all are hype too, judging by, you know, the views we've been getting, the likes, comments. Thank you guys so much for the love we've been getting. So many new faces we've been seeing around the channel now. You know, it's just the game is, you know, Pokemon is huge now. So thank you guys so much. We really appreciate it. Make sure you like this video. I'm trying to get to 2K likes by tomorrow. And make sure you subscribe if you haven't already. I'm gonna be posting and streaming a lot of Gen 9 stuff. But yeah, guys, now that Cerebi officially has everything, we decided why not do a real tier list video. And uh, well, game. tier list, more of like an analysis because you can't really tier list stuff on day one. Uh, but yeah, we're gonna just be analyzing some of these Pokemon. Now the, uh, the information out there is totally official. We can look at it, we can be confident in it. And yeah, this is basically the metagame we're gonna be playing for a while. Uh, before Pokemon Home and all that stuff, so I'm really, really excited, especially just to be able to look at these designs finally, you know? Um, you know, it was fun to talk about the Mons, but not even be able to show them sucks, so, I mean, we can hop right into it. We got quite a few months to get into, and we want to make sure you guys, you know, you know what's popping. So, first off, we got Meow Scarada. So, me and Joe are saying that this, uh, design-wise, very, very cool, sleek Pokemon, but... Uh, grass dark. So the grass starter here has 123 speed. All right. So this is this the fastest starter ever? Uh, 123. Is that start? Is that higher than? I mean, it's faster than Ace. It's fat, fa uh, faster than Grand. So it's fastest, yeah, so fastest ever. Fast starter. fastest starter ever. So that's uh, quite unique. 123 base speed on a grass dark type. So it's like Sceptile vibes, you know? Uh, yeah. And it, uh, it's, I mean, Grass Dark might sound bad because you think of Shift Tree, but you got Zarude as well. Which you know, Zarude solid. has a pretty solid BST. It has 600 BST, and, you know, uh, a mythical, so I think its happen. attack is 120, and its speed is 105. But I would trade uh, 120 attack for 110 attack and 123 speed any day. Yeah, for sure. For <clears> sure. I would trade any day for that, you know? And uh, Zarude doesn't even get knockoffs for some reason. Super robbery for Zarude. Yeah, I feel bad. This mon does, <laughs> which is great. This mon, sure yes. Uh, in a generation where everything lost its knockoff, this is huge, especially on a fast Pokemon. We were talking about that uh, earlier because it's just, you know, knockoff is now a pretty big blessing to have in the metagame. Now that everything got robbed of it and having a stab dark type move as well, being the best one, it's going to be good. Not to mention this guy's signature move. Joe, you want to tell them about this? Yeah, so Flower Trick is a 70 base power, 101 accurate move, according to Sarah Vida. Yeah, so it can never miss, that Aerial Ace. Always, never misses, yep, and always lands a crit. This is great. Uh, I like this Mon uh, just because, you know, it's it's not 70, right? It's 105. Exactly. Power, effectively. Um, and that might be weaker than Power Whip, but when you take into account Power Whip's chance of its accuracy. Oh, that um, 85 is not really 85. Yeah, so you, Remember this, that. this is around the same, right? So mm -hmm. if you take into account accuracy into the equation. So really good move. Uh, ignoring defense raises is really cool for like cosmic power crap and iron defense yeah. crap and all that stuff. I just like it. I just really no. Like I just it, it seems like a really good stab move to just be able to go for. Right. Leaf blade yeah. is the is was the old like strong reliable move. Has the high crit, but 90 base power is really you know doesn't get the job done. 105 I feel like is really nice. And again, like you said, goes through all defense boosts, the anything boost, like yeah. that. Yeah, um, so I, I, I like it. For sure. And while this Mon's coverage seems to mainly be like dark grass and normal moves, it gets what it needs, right? It gets knockoff. It gets this flower trick move. So those yeah. moves we're definitely going to see on this guy. U-turn is great. Play rough is great. Honestly, like I'm, I'm pretty, I'm pretty satisfied. Like it's sucker punch as well. Something that, oh uh, yeah. Ninja sucker did punch. Not get, mm -hmm. but Cinderace did get, and it's another Protean Mon. This is actually, yeah, this is, yeah, yeah. Protean. So, oh, I guess we should talk about the Protean nerf too. Um, we did talk about it on Joe's ability nerf video, but, uh, now it only activates one time and then you switch out and then it activates again one time. So you cannot keep on switching your moves and going crazy like Greninja used to do. That's yeah. Not to say that you can't switch your moves. So the yeah, yeah, yeah. example is if, if Masquer uh, Masquerada goes for a sucker punch, it goes yeah. for dark. And then if it goes for U-turn after the U-turn will be coming from a dark type. Yeah. It'll like still be coming from a dark type. So it only gets yeah. to get the super hit off. Like, the strong hit off the first turn, but has access to low kick, which we talked about uh, on stream, I remember. Really good. That's going to really be really good. nice for hitting steel types, because otherwise you're just going to be able to go for knockoff, and that's not going to be strong enough. So we're definitely going to see that. Trailblaze is a new move. 50 base power ups the speed, but Meow Skirata is already really fast, and 
That's yeah. really weak move too. Like I think one thing that's really interesting is um, besides obviously Terror Blast, who knows Thunder Punch. Huh. Thunder Punch. Thunder Punch. That's actually cool, yeah. that's actually pretty cool. That's it actually really that's actually really cool. Spikes. Um, spikes and toxic spikes for a fast mod. Like so wow, like Re- and taunt like super. These three moves together was just to show us that it's Gren. Yeah. Taunt spikes, I, toxic spikes is hilarious. Trick as well. Is, trick is yeah, trick is sleeper, and I think that's a uh, sub seed is. Not Ooh, because it's really it really fast and annoying. Yeah, it's fast. Gets sub seed, and it can knock off as well. Like it's sub seed. Like there are sub seeds that can mm-hmm. knock off. Like Windsor yeah. can do that. But this is stab and coming off of its strong attack. So I actually think. It has a lot of potential to beat Pokemon. Like, it shouldn't. So I'm like definitely going to run this. Uh, I'm just trying to think what set I want to run. Because I think if you run a Spiker set, it ha- it should just be a uh, dedicated Taunt Spiker. Because uh, this guy, I don't think he can really threaten. Well, first off, Hazard Removal in general got nerfed a lot this generation. Because mm. Defoggers and stuff went down. But there are more spinners, I think. Uh, and I guess, like... There's more anti-hazard mechanisms this generation. I'm, def- I'm definitely running choice ban. On yeah, I'm thinking Sorry. you'd run choice ban, knock off, U-turn, flower trick, all that good stuff. And then sucker, maybe. Sucker, yeah. you know, whatever you your team put- needs. You could even run play yeah. rough or thunder punch. Thunder punch is a crazy tech, you know, if you need to hit the uh, flying the types. Pelipper. For real, like, I don't know if Corv's... Cor- oh, Corv is in the game. So think about it. You could smoke yeah, Corv really bad with that. You could stab really thunder punch nice. off a band. Uh, you cook Corv with that, for sure. Yeah, so that's actually really that's actually definitely a valid uh valid choice, but yep, that's about all we got for Miascarada. This is gonna be a great month, uh definitely. We'll see how it works in OU. Grass Grass Dark is still a pretty tough typing defensively. We've seen that initially, hurt mons initially, in the past. Initially. True, initially. When you go pure one of them, it's a lot easier. I agree with that. Uh we'll see though. Excited for Miascarada. Next up we have Big Skeledurge. Now this thing's designed. That's my starter. This is your starter. This is the one you picked. That's my, star- that's my starter right there, bro. We picked. That's the, one uh, I, that's the one I am picking. So first we rolled the dice and we got uh, the water one, and then for some reason we rolled the dice again and now we have the grass one. So, so, so <laughs> I don't know. So I, I I don't know why. I don't know why we cheated. I, I literally don't know why we cheated. I literally don't know why we cheated. But we cheated. And by we I mean so me and CTC. We cheated. Picked we cheated. Grass. He picked grass. <laughs> yeah, we cheated. <laughs> All right. So um, not that we didn't want the water type. It's just certain uh, events led us to do what we had to do so anyways we have skeledurge here fire ghost another fire ghost from game freak alongside blissef which came out in gen 7 and then typhlosion hisuian marowak oh yeah marowak again chandelier Chandelure in gen 5 damn they really like this ghost. they love this ghost i mean ghost fire is a super super fire this one's like unique. This one's no unique. pun intended they're, they're all unique they're all unique right they're all unique right typhlosion eruptions uh, Chandler is no, no, they're not unique. They all have one trillion special attack. Oh wait, no, they're, no, no, except for Marowak. You're right, you're right. They're unique in what they do. Like Chandler and Blissefulon are the closest. I feel like this is the first. This is the first bulky one, though. Yeah, this for is sure. The, this is the defensive one with good special attack as well, and it's yeah. Song raises your special attack guarantee. So, plus one can't miss. Yeah, so this is like the fiery dance, but even better. Love this move. This is like a staple on this Pokemon. I don't think you can Easy. run this Mon without this move. Uh, not to not to mention it has unaware. Which is like what's really gonna make it stand out because mm-hmm. your ghost fire, you naturally resist things like fairy. So calm mind even, shit, like, calm mining Pokemon yeah. in front of you. You're boosting your special attack. You have Will O Wisp and Hex. Yeah. As well, this is gonna be a. Uh, it's not gonna be a staple. Slack off and I mean Encore is probably not that good on 66 speed, but Slack off is really really great. Wow. I, like slack off I really lot. like this because 104 HP, 100 defense is solid. 75 spadef is. It's all right. I mean, it's it's not good, but with 104 HP, you can you can survive. Yeah, easily. I really I really like this mod. The only thing I wonder is what what do you think your item's gonna be? Boots or leftovers? Boots or lefties, literally. So which one? <laughs> like I I think I'm gonna slash them. Yeah. Like, depending on what I feel, depending on the meta game itself, mm-hmm. I think you do. I think you do end up running. Um, I think you do end up running boots though, just because everything got spiked. Yeah, gen. you're right. It's just easier. I feel like we realized that in uh, in Gen Eight, it's easier to forgo lefties and just run like uh, boots. boots. I do want to say though that this mod should not be slept on with its unaware. Nah, mode. I agree with you. Like, we'll see look it. at its. Like, show them the stats real quick. For sure, for sure. So you see that 104 HP and then 100 defense. Like I'm, I'm. 412 in HP. Yeah, I'm coming in on Dragonite's like setup and taking the hit because I'm aware. You can wisp, them. slack off, dead. Yeah, yeah. literally, literally. No, not, no, no. Super facts, super facts. Like, yeah. Do not sleep on a that. Uh, no, I actually agree with you 100. That's a very likely situation that can happen because this mon's super hard to kill. This thing also blows up uh, Quaquavo, the water type. 
We can't do anything. It can go for its strongest water move. It's not gonna do anything, and you get wisped I mean, in response. Gonna eat knock off from the, the other monster. Exactly. Like this eat. this this thing is quite bulky on the physical side. Wisp, uh, hex, slack off, uh, torch song. It has so many great options. I think that's gonna probably be the set. Wisp, yeah. hex, torch song, slack off. I do that. Just do sounds that like well. it gets the job done versus everything. So, very and excited for this one. You can play Earth if Heatran becomes something like when it comes with the. Uh, the aisle or whatever uh -huh. then you end up putting uh um, tantrum or, i said i i said aisle of armor huh. it gets oh earth, power, power. earth, power. earth oh, power oh wow earth power and earthquake oh wow yeah. well earth power is great because it's one ten special yeah. attack oh yeah. wow so earth power will definitely help earth oh earth power is cool i like that a lot it's especially if stu i just think that I, yeah. I just think that wisp plus um hex does everything you need so no nah, i literally agree with you i agree with you it literally does everything you need because i don't well, it depends on what other fire types rise to prominence, but all I can really think about is opposing Skeledurge, and you just hex those. So, also, there's no pursuit, like, and I'm staying in on most mons because there's no knockoff. There is no pursuit, mons. and there's no knockoff, so this guy really did on, on most come mons, on most knockoff. mons. Yeah, there is knockoff in the game, just a lot of mons lost at this gen, so... Nah, you're spitting. This guy... Uh, you actually convinced me, because no knockoff anymore. The Wisp Slack double stab set with its... uh. It's Signature Dude, move. So Think about it. it; just keeps boosting its special attack and spreading status. This is really annoying. That's what I'm saying, bro. You have a, so like Underwear Clef can beat certain Pokemon, right? But it has to run Calm Mind itself in order yeah. to do it, right? So uh, like, if it wants to beat Volcarona, it has to run Calm Mind. Eventually, Volcarona can crit and beat it. Yeah. Right. You can, or you can wear it down with hazards. This Mon has its Torching move, so it's boosting its special attack. Exactly. As it's exactly. As it's exactly. Defensively checking you. So I can Willowish Dragonite, right? I slack off its mm -hmm. hit. I can start torching, boosting my special attack, and my hex is boosted as well. To exactly. And also, you're not, yeah, you're not weak off the rip. It's not like you have to boost it with your torch song. You can go for those hexes, and the wisp is also working for you too. So it's yeah. it's the best of both worlds. This is gonna be a heat I, set. Looking I forward can't wait to, to this. Breathe, like take earthquake from Landris and then just like burn it. Burn it and then come back later. Back. Yeah. This is cool. Like, Defensive fire ghost because. All we've had is extremely, extremely strong to like a yeah. to like a heinous degree too. Like they all have like four thousand yeah, they, they, attack they or special do attack. Besides giving them powers. <laughs> super powers, but uh, literally super powers. But that's Dirge. Looking forward to him. That's Dirge. That's Dirge. Agent Dirge. And now Quaquavel. Oh man, he's stanced up. Stanced up. Looks extremely tall, but is just five eleven. So nothing too crazy. Um, let's see here. Why did you say that? What? Poor guy. I'm, I'm, I'm not hating. hating. It's whoa, 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 whoa. It's a normal height. I'm just saying he looks stanced up like he was about to be seven five. You know, but that's all. That's all I meant. Have you seen this dude in game? This dude is shaking. He's shaking. This oh yeah, he's dancing like crazy. Time. He's having a good this time. Guy having a good time, bro. Doesn't give a damn. He's having a great time, time, bro. He's having a great. He, he doesn't care about the battle at all. Doesn't care about win or lose. Nine feet in their head, bro. This, <laughs> this is the, uh, nine feet in their head is hilarious. <laughs> yeah, you're right. This is hilarious, man. Okay. Um, Aqua Step. The user toys with its target and attacks it using light and fluid dance steps. This Hell also yeah. boosts the user's speed stat. It's your, it's your, it's your speed boosting move. It's freaking fire. This is. I didn't know it was 80 base power. I thought it was like 70 or 75. No, 80 is good. This is your stab. You this is super this. good. This is like way better than waterfall and liquidation could ever be. Like. Who cares about a flincher defense drop? Plus one speed is super crazy. This is a water fighting type guy, so uh, you know they they liked her Shifu last gen, but they were like, let's make it even shistier. Close combat and wave crash. Wave crash for those of you who don't know is a water type flare blitz, which is super super cool. So physical water type move, 120 base power, and you do one third recoil back to yourself. So. This thing definitely gets. Probably run wave crash on choice band. Yeah, choice band would that, definitely run wave crash. I think yeah, because it gets U turn as well, like you said. Mm -hmm. Um, I think the swords and sets should run. Ooh, ice spinner. Ice spinner as well. Yep. Ooh. I think you run ice spinner, close combat, and then your aqua step. Because aqua it step. It's harder to revenge kill you. Yeah, I think the only thing that shit would lose to is pecs, but I don't even think uh, the dude gets earthquake, so you can't beat pecs. Rapid spin as well it can be something too. It gets it gets straight rapid spin too. Yeah, just go down. Ooh. It's in, it's in the egg moves. Right. right roost? Roost as well. So, like, can you just go down to the stats real quick? So, it actually... What um, a confusing mod. Might not look the greatest <laughs> defensively. Yo, what an amazing move pool. Confusing-ass <laughs> move pool. It has, it has Roost, <laughs> Rabbit's been in YouTube. Yeah, that's, support, that's, that's support beautiful support. moves. Shoot, man. If Weavile ever rises to the top again, I'm going to run Fizz. I mean, 85, 80, 75 isn't good. It's just yeah. not bad. It's like Starmie. Yeah. You know, that's what I feel like it's comparable to. Yeah. I think it'll be I fine. Guess. Good offensive mon though. 
like it has 85 speed but who cares when you're mm -hmm. boosting your speed with every single one of your attacks no for threat. sure this is a big threat like close combat and uh aqua step are phenomenal dual stab i really like Real the idea of wave crash too though it's yeah. just hard trying to figure out how to fit all those moves on because i want to run swords dance obviously bandit yeah, i think yeah. you're right close combat wave crash for show u-turn ice spinner. ice spinner is such a great move to give to water types because ice punch is only given to mons with like very and, clear hands and whooper and whooper and whooper who doesn't have hands but he still is able to ice punch don't ask don't ask but ice spinner yeah the 80 base power move that removes terrain it's just very nice 100 percent accurate yeah, I'm very excited to use Quaquabble. SD just seems like a cool threat. Definitely going to have some issues, though, because it does have to set up first, and you're going to have to go for your Aqua Step and an SD. However, I don't know. It's not harder to set up than any other Pokemon. Like, I wouldn't think this is harder to set up than something like Gyarados, you know? Yeah, I agree. I also think that if the Titan becomes crazy yeah. in the meta... Uh, because of the hail buffs and stuff, mm -hmm. you could run a Fizz Def version of this as well oh? to tank it. No need. I have my Fizz Def Skeledurge coming on that EQ. Boom. Oh, yeah. That plus 6 EQ. <laughs> that plus 6 EQ? Oh, you mean you mean 50%? <laughs> Gone. Fiery uh, Torch Song. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, yeah. You definitely Torch Song over Wist that too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's going to go code. But Kukwavl is cool. Yeah, I think Bandit and uh, SD is probably what we're going to see. But I don't know. I think it's nice. I, I, I think it can run a lot. I'm excited to when I do. Like, it has Aqua Jet, too. Like, it has priority. Aqua like, Jet is nice. And it has Air Cutter, too. It's a text that was, what, 120? So 120 yeah. is decent. The strongest of these three bonds is, is the strongest. You see Air Cutter as well, right? That's like a Leaf Blade almost, but old Leaf Blade. It was 70 base power Leaf Blade, and Leaf Blade became 90. So this is still 70? Yeah. 60? Let's move on. Good day, Coco that's, that's Air Cutter. I said Aqua Cutter. My bad. You said My Air bad. Cutter. I right. did probably. No, they don't probably. He, he caught himself. That's why he said. That's why he said. My bad after gaslighting. All right, let me see this. Aqua, Aqua Cutter. The user exposed pressurized water, pressurized water to cut at the target like a blade. This move has a heightened chance of landing a critical hit. He does have a lot of funny, new moves. I can't wait to use this mon and just watch it dance. Yeah, I agree. It's gonna be. On to the next. This is a. This is gonna be a Wi-Fi smash. On to the next one. Boom. Transition. We didn't say that. Oh, yeah, it gets Moxie, which is exactly no, why. Moxie. Hold on, let me go back. <laughs> Moxie is exactly why SD is so good with Aqua Step because you boost yeah. your speed, and then if you knock out a Mon, it's like you it's got plus, plus one speed plus and plus yeah, one yeah. attack. Yeah, and then you're plus three because you SD'd. Close Combat is your backup move, which is one of the greatest physical attacks to have Stab on. You can't really yeah, go wrong. Shame. I'm going to wall this with uh, my Skeletor too. Slowbro and uh, what's his face? Unaware Clef and Pex all wall this, and there's not really shit he can do about that. So just hold that. Skeletor is gonna, gonna eat it up. Next we have Lechonk and its pops Oinkaloin. Oink so Oinkaloin. It's, it's not. You think it's Oinkaloin? It's like like Cologne. You don't think it's like Cologne? Oinkaloin. Yeah, isn't it literally? Cologne it's it's okay? it's it's Oinkaloin. You're right. It's not Oinkaloin. Oinkaloin would be. O I N, <laughs> but I, I just made that up. It's only alone for sure. So this one has different stats. So there's a there's a, a male form and a female form. So the male form is which one? Yes. This one? Yes. Okay. So this one is the male form. Oops. Um. I'm looking at, look at its abilities. Though. I want to look at its stats real quick first. I feel like bad. stats are important. No. Look at these. Look look at this. One fifty HP. That's S female. That's the female one. Okay. Right, so but, she, but look at its move set. She's she, she's got some she's got some good defenses. I can't lie. Yeah, the offenses are, offenses are horrible. She has she has thick fat. So this is the new. Yeah, uh, she also got stuffed cheeks. So this is the new normal type with thick fat or whatever. They always have this shit. Stuffed yeah, cheeks. Stuffed the user eats too. its health berry, then sharp, sharply boosts its defense stat. And oh it hell no. Well. Oh hell no. It gets body pressed. Oh no. The issue is is right there. Team eighty nine. But the issue with this mod is that it doesn't really get recovery. Ooh. So I guess you can use Resto Chesto with with your Iron no, Defense body be... press, or not even Iron Defense, but just with your body press. So this yeah, is like the even... this is like the new fur fro. This is some bullshit. This is hilarious. Yeah. This okay. Its abilities real quick. Stay right, stay right here for a second. Sorry, my bad. It's all right. What's your abilities? The abilities. The ability. Oh, there we go. So Lingering Aroma is uh is, is like mummy, right? Okay. So that's the male. The male gets that. The male. The male stinks. The female. Protects itself with allies from attacks that limit their choice. Yeah, that's that doesn't matter. Um, yeah, gluttony. Thick fat. Gluttony. Thick fat or gluttony. Yeah. Thick fat is the one. Thick fat is the one for sure. Let me see the male one stats. 
not that great. 115 right. HP. It's the same shit. It's it's literally the same thing. It's Wait, no, this is the female. A, it has attack. Sorry. This is the males. So the males has attack and that's it. The male just looks worse, honestly. Like look at the, if you scroll down again, it's not even that big of a difference. It's 306. 10 extra attack and yeah. less intense less spadef. I would take more spadef any day. I'm not yeah, exactly I, using this mod for its massive offensive potential. So I think I uh you're right. I don't think you I don't think you'll ever use it. Oh, I will. You, you oh, I will. I don't think you. <laughs> oh, I will. I oh, I will. You, I don't think you know me. I don't think you know me. No, I don't. I don't think you know me. I know we just Maybe met. I know we just met, but I, I, stream. you don't understand. Uh, yeah, Maybe I don't on a throwaway it. stream. You mean the first stream of, yeah, of, of yes, Scarlet Violet? Literally. <laughs> when someone, when someone passes me the team, and then I go, "This is yes. ass. Never send me this again." All right. Look at this heat. Pig. Look at this heat. And then game one. Yo. <laughs> All right. So this is this is an interesting mod. We'll definitely see that sub, not subset, but that set Joe said with the rest body pressed, but. This thing, I'm gonna tell you right now, PU is in danger when Oink alone shows up. Absolutely in danger. All right. Dun 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 let's go. So there's two of them, two of two of these joints. It's the same thing. It's two, just two, two segment, segment and, and the three. Segment. Oh nah. They're the same on. They're the same damn So on. the dun sparse has these weird like defined parts of its body now. Eleven foot ten, or fourteen foot. And, oh my lord. Get your height up, bro. Your You're right. Up. This is what Coquavo think he doing Wait, he when he's dancing. He? Oh yeah, he does. He does. He does. Uh, well said. So Serene Grace, run away. So the same shit. It has the same abilities it used to get. Serene Grace is probably where we're going. Oh, oh exactly. Serene Grace was made for this guy. A lot of people think it was made for uh, Jirachi or it was made for Toga Kiss. No, it wrong. Was it was made for Dunsparce and its pops, Da Dunsparce. Da Dun Dunsparce is the funniest nickname ever. I know they were cracking up at HQ. Game Freak HQ, they were like, oh, this so, is a knee slapper. <laughs> so it gets two crazy physical moves, uh, two crazy normal moves. It's hyper drill now. Hyper drill. Right? So look at, it ignores protect. It's 100, 100, right? It ignores, it's physical, 100, 100, ignores protect. Awesome. But the other move it gets is boom burst, and it's only like three points weaker. Boom burst? Than, yeah, it gets boom burst, and it's only like three points weaker than um, X Cloud. So, boom burst? Yeah. Hold on. Uh, it's not that much weaker than X Plus. Hold on. So it's and it's special. It's a normal type, so special move flow is crazy, right? It's yeah, all, yeah. yeah. This guy always gets like Dun Dun Sparse and Dun Sparse. Dun Sparse always had an incredible special. Uh, Monish, still has yeah. access to its greatest move of all time, Headbutt. Headbutt. Hundred attack, eighty five special attack, fifty five speed. Yeah, dude, its special attack is actually stats are like whatever. It's just the HP is super super amazing. We'll take it's it. A huge, it's a huge buff to the other. And I'm still running Thunder Wave, so. Yeah, glare, but yeah. Oh yeah, glare. You run glare, <laughs> you got roost. Um, oh, this is the new Drampa, burst. but more heat, and then twenty percent ice beam freeze rate. You ready? Yeah. No more it scald. No more scald. Are you ready? Better moves than Drampa. I agree. I agree. Yeah. No, like I would cheese with this. They gave it ice spinner too. Like you can run physical or. Special. No, I'm literally running boom burst, ice beam, roost, glare. GG. Oh, uh, I'm running. I'm running everything. No, there's no point in me uh, flamethrowing uh, uh, steel types. I'll just freeze them with ice beam over time. That is fair. You like that? You like yeah. that? Good playing. A little bit. The Dunsparce will be interesting. NU is in danger. I'm going to tell you that right now. It is in danger. Well, we'll see. Watch out. This will be fun. I think it has potential. Yeah, it does. 125 HP is cool. Dude, I live one hit and I get a Specs Boomers off. That's all I need. <laughs> this is a good uh, design, too. All right, moving yeah, on. Yeah, it's Dunsparce, but more. Literally done sparse, but more. Spy Dops. So for those of you who have been tuning in on Twitter and, you know, seeing information here and there, Spy Dops is, is, is a little infamous. You know why he's infamous? Apparently, this is the worst fully evolved Mon. That's what yes. they've been saying. That's what they've yes. been saying. They've been hating. But I'm going so to find out for sure. Insomnia no, and Stakeout. So two it's decent abilities. Bug. Let's talk about that. It's a pure bug. Okay. So Stakeout works when, when the opponent replaces if the target switches. What pure bug is switch making the opponent who is, switch out? Who is switching out on this? If you Show set this out, them. I would start laughing. Show them its stats. Show them its stats too. Show them its stats. Oh. They have to oh. Them. Oh. Oh. Them. oh. 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 Not the oh. 79 attack. The 35 <laughs> speed. Oh. It I does didn't get a <laughs> first impression in Sucker Punch, but luckily we have oh. a Pokemon with that. Oh, no. So this is Low Kicks is like, Lil Bro. This is who Low Kicks used to bully. Yes. This shit yes. is garbage. Oh, it no. PU is <laughs> not safe. PU is on. Is Z U. Beware. However, it does have. Holy Memento, shite. Sticky Web, Toxic Spike, and Spike. That being said, defenses are like okay. The HP is horrible, but the defenses are type. like defenses decent. Defenses are not okay. It's a bug type. This thing okay. is horrible, bro. 
Yes, I'm sorry to say. The, this is literally again, bad low kicks. Lower tier, focus ass, toxic spike, spike, sticky. Yeah, That's, yeah. Look if at you, Silk Trap. Look honestly, silk trap. what is Silk Trap? The user spins a Silken Trap, protecting itself from damage while lowering the speed step. Wait, so it's like spike, it's like protect, but if you hit, okay, okay. Yeah, they lower, lower their speed. speed. It's like really obstruct, cool and, but you drop your I think speed. It's, cool doubles. it's like obstruct, just, but you drop speed, yeah. right? Yeah. I literally use this thing in like if do and doubles. Yeah. Only, just because I can lower the opponent. I'm gonna tell you some. And then set up T spike and stuff, but none of that matters. In I'm gonna tell you some. If you see this one used in any official game, it's like a flex. It's like it's like a disrespect move. I think. Get up a heat on episode one. Yeah, literally. This is a disrespect move. I yeah. cannot wait. I can't wait to, to ignore this mon. But it does get sticky whip. Now this, the mon under. Go. Low the kicks. Mon this, this is the greatest mon The goat. The goat. It's a common rider. Like what? It's sick. Look at bro's design. And you're telling me that he's not the truth? Yeah. No, he is. Low kicks design is beautiful. Ability is tinted lens, which is inarguably one of the greatest offensive abilities period and you agreed you agree like there's yeah, just yeah. no there's just yeah. no way around it there's a reason why this is my favorite mon from this bug game. dark which with tinted lens is incredible it has the best bug and dark moves in the game arguably with first impression for bugs and sucker, sucker punch, punch for dark uh, i guess you could argue that knockoff's better but unfortunately it gets axe kick, which, gets is, axe uh, kick. Which, is better, which is better high drum kick yeah uh, the user attacks by kicking up into the air and slamming its heel down upon the target. This may also confuse the target. If it misses, the user takes damage instead. So yeah, it's, it's HJK, a little bit weaker, uh, and 30% chance to confuse. So pretty interesting that this new move, I don't know why they did this. They have really uh, killed the need for high jump kick in this generation. Between giving a lot of Pokemon close combat and this new axe kick shit, why would you not run axe kick? Maybe they got rid of it. If you miss, you lose, and then... Like it, could, it could be the replacement. Oh, I don't know if remember it's... When they, remember when they changed Como as well? Oh, rem please don't remind me. Please don't remind me. This mod's the goat though, because this I think priority is gonna be so sick, and it's also one sucker of the best punch first blocks. impression. Dude, you turn dude, sucker punch being able to hit fair. Oh, let me give you guys a calc on Dragapult. You do seventy six to ninety percent with first impression. Shit is crazy. It's crazy. It gets U turn too, because U turn. U turn as well. One hundred two attack is so attack. decent. Like you look at the HP defense special attack spadef, it's all bad, but the attack and the speed are so yeah, decent. Exactly, they're so decent. So. This is like, I'm I super think, excited I for this. I think if you this thing into a dark type as well, yeah. your sucker punches are broken. Like, if you actually manage to SD with this thing and you go for sucker punches, you're Right, it gets SD. They're, unres they're unresisted. And they're two times because of terrestrializing. Wow. Coverage is so damn good as well. Uh, especially because Tinted Lens, so you barely even need to worry about coverage. Like, Axe Kick is more of a luxury. Mons, yeah, the only one that takes, like, sucker punch, like, would be, like, this, the new Super Delayed. And like a few a few of the types like that. Yeah. And but like fairy types not being able to resist sucker punch is just being neutral. And then you get the terror. And the fact that you can continuously U turn out is really nice. Like I feel like Bandit is gonna be a really, really amazing set. Yeah, like you, I you do thirty percent to landers. Exactly. First time. impression, U turn, right? Your staples. Then you run sucker punch and then you can run whatever you want. You can run axe kick, you can run throat chop, you can run Yeah, throat chop is its best dark step after sucker punch. Yeah. So that's a little annoying, but I mean, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, in that sense, high. axe kick might be kind of nice to hit the steel types harder. Yep, I got a moveset on this going up. I think I actually, if this goes up tomorrow, this is going up tomorrow, right? Or today? No, this is going up today. Oh, okay. I got a moveset tomorrow. On this Make sure you check out low kicks uh, analysis from Joe's channel tomorrow, guys. Joe is pumped about this month. I'm gonna tell you right now, he got the best analysis coming for this month. He knows the yeah. sets. He's been practicing with this month. Every single day. But now he ain't been practicing as much as me and C Titan, I'll tell you that. So I've been going out and just finding grasshoppers and living with them. Uh, wow. You see the dedication? Time. This is first my time first inside time. him forever. Wow. I told him one time in call, why don't you touch grass? And then he really just he just touched grass and didn't did return. It was, I sued him after He sued him after too. But it's what I do. It's what he does. Sues, bird, sues his friends. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Next we have Rapska. Now this I another, love this, this guy's. I game. love so this guy's cool. design. Design is so incredible. Bug Psychic. Now Bug Psychic is a little questionable typing wise. Who's another oh, no, notable? It's telepathy. Who's another notable uh, Bug Psychic? Mom. Who's ass or Beetle? Right. Yeah. That guy's ass. 
Uh, whatever abilities. Synchronize whatever. Synchronize is whatever. decent. Telepathy is okay. Not for us. No, it's not, not for. It's not for us. Is hilarious. All right. Ravska. <laughs> look, look at the way you evolve, or you change your form. Walk 100, Walk 100 steps. steps whatever. It ain't as bad as Malabar. <laughs> Throw the DS upside down. <laughs> All right. Oh, I gotta go outside. <laughs> no, Joe has to be back with the grasshoppers for this one. All right, revi wait, wait. Uh, great move right there. Revival Blessing. So this is one of the two Pokemon are alongside Palmot. They got access to Revival Blessing. This is the best move in Pokemon history, in my opinion. The user bestows a loving blessing, reviving a party Pokemon that has fainted and restoring half that Pokemon's max HP. So this move is no drawback except for the fact that it has one PP, but you can use a Lepa Berry to uh, basically re uh, fuel it back up, and you can have two of these. You heal another Pokemon, you bring it back from the dead, and it comes back at 50%. So it's basically the item Revival Herb, and you don't have to sacrifice your Pokemon. So no matter how bad Rapska's stats and the rest of its moves might be, it's always going to have a purpose because of Revival Blessing. And, I mean, it has good stats, too. Yeah. Like, I mean, it has, good, it has decent moves. I'm about to go peep at stats. 45 speed's ass. 75 oh, HP I is up, okay. I mixed up speed and special <laughs> defense. But special what, attack is crazy. This dude's behemoth. This dude's literally behemoth. It's literally behemoth. The, def the defenses are not bad at all. 85 defense, set 100 speed up. No, this is Behem, but literally better. Because it has it a... Cosmic power as well, Behem said. is insane, though. I, I can't sleep on Behem. Because Analytic with that T-ball... Oh! And Hidden Power was around back then, too. Don't sleep. Don't sleep on Behem. Please don't disrespect the GOAT. Please. Can you can you please apologize, Joe? Sorry. No. Uh, okay. So, sorry. Never mind. Look, it gets Cosmic Power and Recover, right? Oh. It gets Psychic. Recover's only APP, but who cares? Oh. It gets psychic, which is nice. Buzz. And then I believe it gets earth Slow, power. Yep, earth yep, power for them steals. Oh. It's already, it's already better than orbital. It can hit. Way it. better. Shadow ball, power gem. That's wow. Quite a lot of options on this guy. Psy Shock 2. Okay. Stored power if you want to run some crazy shit like that. Yo, I'm, I'm, actually, I'm actually excited to run Rapska. People were telling me that this mod is garbage, but no, it's literally not. It's literally not a garbage at all. This is literally viable. I'm actually very excited to use this mon with Revival, uh, Blessing, Recover. I think I can get a lot of mileage out of this mon. I'm actually quite excited for this. 10,000%. This one's yeah. decent. No, this is literally decent. Yeah, I thought just the move was the only thing going for it. But then after I saw the stats, yeah, the speed sucks. Don't get it wrong. But defenses are great. It is 4x weak to U-turn, so you do have to play smart. But you can you can figure this out. Four times uh, resistance yeah, to fighting. If you meta early on, it'll be fine. 100% agreed. Shout out to Rapska. That. Next we have Houndstone the dog. The I'm a big fan the of this goat. design. This is this is hilarious. Sandrush is the main ability, and then Fluffy is the hidden ability. Two great abilities depending on what team you want to go with. Uh, I think we'll see Fluffy a lot more because you don't have to be constricted. What? No, we will not. You don't you're think gonna so? Use, you're gonna use you, you think, for you, last respect. You think this is gonna be the number one Sandmon? Dude, its move becomes up to 300 base power. I know, but let me see the dog speed. It's 68. Good. All, of its, mm. all of its stats are good. Mm. Look at its defensive mm. stats. Look at its attack. I may have it talked. Folks, folks, folks. I may have talked <gasps> too that soon. Said, that man said I want my 300 base power move to come off of <laughs> 258 speed. My brother, I apologize. In fact, I did not even know that his speed was so decent. He looked like his speed was 30. So I assumed he was terrible. He's a gravestone. I understand. I'm, you, saw, you saw the way he looked, right? Obviously, I, I, the way he looked. Not, I did not expect the ghost Stoutland, but I guess I should have. So this is literally this is the Stalin. It this, just died. This is the ghost Stalin. This is Stalin who died and came back as a, a demigod. So last respects for those of you who don't know is the only move on par with revival blessings in terms of brokenness. For every single Pokemon on your team that dies, this move goes up an additional 50 base power. So it starts when you have a full team of six, you have a 50 base power move. When one goes down, it's 100 base power. When it's two go, poltergeist. when two go down, yeah, when one goes down, it's basically only 10% weaker than poltergeist. Then when two mons go down, it's 150 base power, meaning it's the strongest like bazooka ever. And then when you're the last mon, yes, it's 300 base, power, base power, not dude. counting stab, which it gets on this move. So ghost already being the most amazing offensive uh, coverage move alongside dark. And now this has a 300 base power move, like. Not to mention, like I mean, it, it dude, might be a what dog, is like, this? It gets the elemental fangs, right? So it's not the greatest thing in the world, but it also gets psychic fang. You get superpower. Which is fine. It does not get superpower. It gets body press though, and it has defense, and, and body press is boosted by choice bands. Under so defense. It oh, it is. Yeah, it is. Oh, then we're gonna definitely see press. Yeah, you only need it for. Uh, you literally only need it for normal. You literally only need it yeah. for normals. Everything else, I'm just clicking. Exactly. Just clicking. You would literally never click anything besides the ghost move. Everything else is like if somehow you just never lost a mon. This one is good. This one is this great. One is, 
It's really bulky. It's pure ghost too, so it doesn't have No, this is an outrageous way. Pokemon. That what the like hell? Fluffy. Bro, I didn't know. I didn't stuff. know, bro. Oh, no. This is a menace to society. 101 attack. Amazing. Def no, please don't say that. <laughs> I will be going on showdown with this and see Titan. My double, my double weather. The sand X weather. snow. You oh, no. You don't even have to run a bomb snow. You just run the, uh... That the chili reception. Chili. Yes, sir. Yeah. Oh, man. Okay, so Houndstone has just gone up multiple rankings. This might be my new favorite mod currently. It's, it's decent. No. It's amazing. It's really, it's really, yeah, I, know I can't it's wait. And a sneak, too. Oof. This is going to be... And Destiny Bond in the sand if you need to. Oh. Yes. This is going to be super fire. Shrick. Random Wisp. If you need a cheese pass sucker punch. Yo. This guy gets the job done. I don't see why you wouldn't even run Shrick on it. Like, I'll trick you and still yeah. use my 300 base power. Literally. Right? Literally. What? You think it needs to be banded to not kill every mon? Like, I literally. think it only needed one boost. But... Hound Stone's gonna be awesome. Very excited. Next, we have this a spot throw. Cool. Really, this really, so really cool. like this one too. So, design wise, I really like this little like ostrich design we got going on. French name is cool. Cleo Citra. Do you see this? That's pretty. That's pretty dope. Six foot three. Is the piece hockey? Hockey. Oh, cause oh, it's Cleo Citra. Oh, Cleo Citra. Uh, because P S Y is Cy, isn't it? Probably. You're probably right. Remember that duck? Cyopatra. This is heat. I love this mod. So it's such a sick mod. Such it's a sick English, design. Its English name is good too. Espata. Espata, like right? It's, it's an S, yeah. Yeah, ESP. Like this is. Mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. I really like. Sometimes they get it right with the names, and they really get it right. All right. So opportunist is a brand new ability on this. If an opponent's stat is boosted, the Pokemon seizes the opportunity to boost the stat, the same stat for itself. This is definitely a cool ability. However, when your hidden have, ability is speed boost, yeah, yeah. everything else goes out the window like when matter. you have speed boost what are you gonna do and how, do you, how are you gonna beat speed boost you don't sometimes i think oh so i guess magic card but even if my reuniclus didn't have magic card what if i was calm mind speed boost yeah i start yeah, off at 90 like, speed i start off I slow <laughs> but soon Why not? Why not? <laughs> and stored power gg like i'm telling Dude, you it's signature move is crazy too yeah it's signature crash. move is amazing it's c flare it's, it's c -flare. flare but 80 base power uh and, uh, but it's, it's even but 100 accuracy. Like, Wait, and this always drops? It says this also harshly lowers the target special defense. This is, it doesn't say sometimes. It doesn't say expect percentage. It just says always. So this you awesome. always drop by two. Holy but shit. I, have, I mean, it makes sense. Why else would I run this over Psychic? Exactly, because 80 base power, you have to have some reasoning. This is heat. This is so sick. Whoa, I can see a, some sub-protect cheese with this being really Easily. nasty, especially because it has a speed boost. It also gets Dazzling Williams, so it's not like it can't hit Dark type. Oh, very nice. And it gets low kick as well, so it's not like it can't hit DTAR. Like, it doesn't have the best attack. It's attack is 60. But... Yeah. I can see something with, uh, with Kama... Special and, move uh, pool is definitely well. quite lacking. I'm not gonna lie. Shadow Ball. Terra Blast. Hypnosis. You can run, like, you can run, like, Calm Mind. Protect. Speed. Obviously, uh, your speed boost. And you mm -hmm. have store power as well. And you're yeah. Just, you're boosting yourself every single time. Mm-hmm. This is going to be a really interesting mod. I think we're going to see this on some hyper offense screens type cheese just because speed boost is always a good cheese. The defenses are bad. The HP is pretty good, I'd say. 95 HP is pretty good in my opinion. Speed and special attack are good. Speed and special attack are good. 105 speed is really great. Uh, 101 special attack isn't exactly strong, but does this get nasty plot or anything? No. No? Calm down. Calm down. We're not getting spot speed throw, I'm a great fan of your that. design. I really am. However, in competitive play, we will see if you can go toe to toe. Many. My prediction is, you will fail. What I do you think? think? It'll work. I think it'll be fine. I, I, think I like the fine. mon. I, I, I'm I just worried about this 80 base power. Like it's really, really weak. 101. Like Blaziken at 120 and dual stabs 120 a piece. Yeah, okay, but if I go for sub, right, and you bring out your steel type, sure. And I go for Lumina Crash. Like mm -hmm. your steel type isn't taking it better the second time. You know what I mean? Yeah, but it probably still lives. I wish this thing had some coverage, man. Mystical Fire or Focus Blast or like Earth Power or something. I'm not hating. Just... I think it'd be cool. It'd probably end up being banned. Yeah. We'll see. In the end of the day, speed boost is speed boost, right? Yep. It can't, you can't go wrong. I wish it was Psychic Flying, though. Anyways, Espatra, we'll see you soon. For Rigoraf. I'm going to tell you right now, this is the first time I'm looking at this Pokemon. I swear to you, this is the first time I'm looking at this Pokemon. What happened? Even in the leaked docs, I didn't even look at this Pokemon. 
10 foot six, 10 foot six. This guy's a boss. Normal psychic typing. Interesting. Cud chew. When the Pokemon eats a berry, it will regurgitate that berry at the end of the next turn and eat it one more time. Very yes, nice. Geez. So you get the double you get the double berry. At the end of the next turn though. Oh. Eh. I don't know how I felt about that. I really don't. Armor tail is good though. Armor tail is heat. No priority, no sucker punch. Can't get hit by sucker punch. Sap Sipper's cool too. Gives you random grass immunity. It uh, gets nasty plot. It's also immune to ghost moves, and mm -hmm. that's pretty good. It gets this new move called Twin Beam, which is basically a um, double psychic move, but it's only 40 base power, so it's actually 10 base power weaker than psychic. Twin Beam? But it hits twice. What an interesting move. That is that. Why, did they, why huh. did they do that? Like, why did they make it slightly stronger than. Why didn't they just make it 45? Yeah. <laughs> like, what is the point? Psychic is heat too because it always spadef drops, especially when you need it too. All right. Yeah. Let's see what moves it, it gets. It's literally giraffe rig, dude. Thunderbolt, energy ball. Charge beam, yuff. Hyper boys. Thunderbolt, yuff. This would be a really fun Pokemon to look at. <laughs> wow. That is disrespectful as shit. You see it on this is an awesome Honda to look at. Wow. It's so look pleasant. His, his That's actually though. so look damn HP funny. Stat. HP stat's incredible. 120. It's got that, that Dunspar shit. 110 special attack is actually very impressive too. It's just 60 yeah. speed, which is bad. I may have talked shit too much. Uh, it's definitely not good, but it's also definitely not it's so much average. Than other it's like giraffe. it's like a nice four out of ten. So, yeah, I, I'm ready for him. He did her. I was about to say, oh yeah, it is uh, immune to sucker punch with that ability. Good thing it's 60 base speed, so you don't have to worry about getting sucker punched. You're just straight up dying to the other attack. <laughs> We'll have fun and with Foray. You gotta understand, guys. The game, the game is out for real. Now we're telling it to you straight up. This shit is out for real. We're giving it to you straight up. Oh, he is faster than King Gambit. True. And what are you doing exactly to King Gambit, my brother? Low kicking. Okay, Joe. My ass. Okay. You're, not run, you're not running low kick. You got 110 special I, attack. We got room for it. How you got room for I'm, it? You run four attack? I'm running four attack. Life orb. Wow. Nice, nice little Nido King you got here. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, <laughs> Trio. Now I took a little look at him, but once I saw that there was no arena he's, trap, I no, rage. I rage. Once I saw there was no arena trap, I rage quit the page in anger and said, "Nope, I'm good." All right, let's see. Gooey. You no, know, they gave it. They gave Earth Power, but not Earthquake. Very nice. Great. All these abilities are garbage, uh, because it's not going to be bulky. It's Doug Trio. Yeah. It's Doug Trio stats. Triple dive. The user performs a perfectly timed triple dive, hitting the target with splashes of water three times. <laughs> what is this? They just be making up anything. Yo, this is like move, fake dude. triple it's, axle. This is triple axle. Dude, that's 90. Yeah, so we'll be running the, punch, the fripple axle. Sucker punch, throat chop, liquidation. Little aqua jet, little aqua jet action. No aqua, little aqua jet. Okay, you, you know what? I want to know who is he, throw, who who is he chopping throats with? Who is sucker punching? You using the whole head? <laughs> yes. What the? You need to get literal, like, CTE, bro. Like, come on now. It'll be all right. It'll be like a football quarterback. Like, it's going to be a fucking impact. What the fuck are you doing? You know, I, I, I think this mod could be good with, uh, like, legitimately with Terra, terrasalizing. Oh, you don't it say. Really <laughs> nah, I'm hating, I'm hating, I'm hating. <laughs> yeah, it does have really high speed. Also, Final Gambit, you know, uh, even yeah, with the shit HP. I know, I know. HP shit, but still, you can get it. You can get the job done versus someone at a low HP. Memento for setup stuff. 100 attack. Does this get Swords Dance like his bro? Calm down. Are you serious? What do you mean Swords Dance? Duck Trio doesn't get Duck Trio gets Swords Dance, doesn't it? No. Maybe that was a fake leak. That might, that might have been uh, Legend Arceus that got Swords Dance. Oh, okay, okay. It, it definitely doesn't have it now. Anyways, and you beware. When this guy rolls up, you're finished. Actually, I think PU. Because it's pure P -U. water. PU, watch out. PU, it's watch out. When it's about it's to about get wet. wet. <laughs> The Donzo. <laughs> Yo, this is on fire. Don Dozo. Oh, fire. Not the Donzo. Don, Don Dozo. Don, Don, so Don. this is our new uh, whiskash, wishy-washy, whatever you want to call it. Big fat water type. Unaware, oblivious, and water veil. Three pretty decent abilities. Let's take a look at the stats first. 150 HP, which was pretty expected. Heinously bad speed, nice. which was expected. Really good defense. And honestly, Amazing that's, that's, defense. That, yeah, that special defense is hella workable. 504 HP. Exactly. The fact that you have 504 HP and you don't have to go full defensive means you can you can beef up the spadef and be a good mixed tank. 100 base attack. So not Did you, terrible. Can I can I tell you this? Can I read this thing's dex entry in Violet? Yeah, tell me. It treats Tatsugiri like its boss and follows it loyally. Though powerful, Don Dozo is apparently not very smart. <laughs> Though powerful, apparently Don Dozo is not. Yeah. <laughs> 
That is so sad. <laughs> Poor guy. <sighs> Whatever. All right, let's see. So he has That's a move called Order Up. Order Up? Order. Order Up, Dragon. It's, it's, uh, it's Dragon. Now, this thing is a water type, but it's not actually... Uh, so Order Up is, if the user has a Tatsugiri in its mouth, this only works in doubles. This move okay. boosts one of the user's stats based on the Tatsugiri's form. What an interesting move. Dragon Claw for doubles with only another you know, mod, you know and it, it boosts... You know how it works? You literally know how it works? I have and, no idea. Okay, so... Um, when Tatsugiri's out in the field and Donzozo, Tatsugiri goes inside Dondozo's mouth. I'm not even lying. I know, I know, yeah. Like, I heard about this. inside Dondozo's mouth, and the Mon is, like, protected from everything until Dondozo dies. Very nice. Well done, Dondozo. But Don you basically Dozo. go 3-4. Don Dondozo. Don yeah, we'll it's probably... Wave crash, too. It has some cool moves. Wave crash, heavy slam, body slam... Chilling water, aka Avalanche. Scald at home, but that's Avalanche. special attack. Liquid, liquidation, Avalanche. Earthquake. Bulldoze, Zen... Antrum. Body press is going to make really good use of that defense Oh, it's like a super whale lord. This is like a super whale lord. Earthquake is great coverage, too. I actually like this thing's coverage. Yo, I might play doubles when I use... I yeah, just... you may have to. This thing will be cool. Are you is... Are you beware? Don, Don Dozo's coming. Next, we have Veluza. Veluza. This looks like Barrascuta so... gone wrong. There's, we have so many Barrascutas. So we have a new Barrascuta, Water Psychic. So this is Bruxish pretending to be Barrascuta. Interesting. Mm. Uh, looking at it, move wise, we got a little good stuff. Aqua Jet, uh, Aqua Cutter, the high crit one. Dude, it has Aqua Cutter, Night Slash, and Cycle Cut with sharpness. Sharpness, right? I was gonna say, once I saw Night Slash and yeah. Cycle Cut back to back, I was like, it's gotta have sharpness. Wait, so, look at Filet Away. Where's Filet Away at? 30, level 30. It's a level 30 oh, level up move. The user sharply boosts its attack, special attack, and speed stats by using its own HP. So this is like the goat. This is like Clangorous Soul, but like better. Yeah, dude. This is a dude, better this version one, of Clanger Soul. Actually heat. Hold this on. One's actually heat. Hold on. Bro, you have. This is Shell Smash. Yeah. It's Shell Smash. Yeah, dude. But HP instead all, of defense. Yeah, all your. Hold moves, on. Cycle Cut, Night Slash, and Aqua Cutter are That's all, all you need. That's all you need. They're all 105. That's all you need. This one's Hold on. Heat. Ain't no kinda. Let me see the stats. 102 attack. Okay. 70 speed. Well, Cloister has 70 speed. And Cloister That's has less need. attack. That's and Cloister has worse defenses, except for. You're not going to use that, but. Oh, bro. This Simon is a fucking savage. Oh, no, Veluza's crazy. This is, like, I've seen these mons collectively in the dock, shots Roy, but I've never seen them like this, so it's actually really cool to see what they do. This Hold is me playing through the game right now. Hold up. This guy's going to be shysty. Psychic type as well for that Pex? Step out the way. Bro, you can't even write, you can't write this mon off at all. At, at, yeah. Eight foot the tall. Is pretty Damn. Nasty. Damn. Damn. Big Damn, fish. Watch out. Veluza's going to be heat. Stay your girl. No doubt. Polyphon. Not the zero form. However, we will look at the boss. Looking forward Ooh, to Palafin. No, no, evolve it. That's not. <laughs> oh, I was like, wait a minute. Why are you looking like a baby? Palafin. So, this guy is water so, type Superman. Well, it's pal. It's literally that. Al it's the zero form. So when you bring it out and switch out and come back in, it just becomes Superman. Yeah, I yeah. suspect we'll see a lot of this plus uh, eject button. Or you could just do something called switching. You can hard switch, but that's also giving up momentum. Yeah, I can lead off with it and hard switch though. Yeah, but how? What momentum has been given? I can also use flip turn. You flip turn into my eject button, Mon. Now you can't flip turn. Now I'm back in. Boom. You just sound like somebody who wasted an item. Versus you mad? You I, mad? You mad? Like, it's called high IQ. I, feel like this argument is I understand. Not very good. You know what? Okay, look. Look, all look I'm, I'm a fuck is, with you. I'm a fuck with you. Look, I'm a fan. Scroll down. Scroll down the hero stats. Scroll down the fine, stats. Fine, fine. You think you're the big hero on the block? No, 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 no. Mm, no nice stats. No, no, I'm trolling, no. I'm trolling. I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. I was trolling. Oh, <laughs> I'm trolling. 100, 100 speed, 160 attack, amazing 100 HP, 97 defense. Basically, Urshifu's defenses, but way it's better spit out. super guard chomp. This is like super chomp. 100 speed uh, is good. 160 it's like attack. It's literally mega guard chomp. Only right? problem yeah. is, is that it's speed, not speed, it's pure water type. That's the only drawback I see immediately when I look at this mod. I don't... Wait, so is, is, did you confirm if close combat is boosted by that? It is item? not. It is not. Damn. So. Does this get CC? Attack? It does, yeah. Heat. It gets CC and it gets ice. Uh, Most ice excited for that move, Jet Punch. It is a priority water type move, guys. This is Aqua Jet, but fucking 50% stronger. So this is. We're definitely going to see this move a lot. It has Wave Crash as well, which is a 120 base power move we were already talking about. The water type Flare yeah. Blitz. You run close combat, you run uh, your jet punch, you run ice punch, and you probably run liquidation or wave crash, yeah? Yeah. Wave turn could obviously be there too. 
But yeah. I, I feel like just hard switch. Because the other the other one, if you look at his stat, I'll be really mad if my other guy gets hit. Now it's yeah. 100 speed, but I'll still be mad if it gets hit with no, this. No, that other guy getting hit would just ruin the game for you. That's why you just switch him out. No point risking yeah. it. What's the point? Because if you risk it with flip turn and somehow they're faster and kill you, well, then you're just going to lose because you're down yeah, a on and you're down your big breaker. But yeah, we'll be seeing a lot of palafins. Like, bro, I, I, would you rather have Superman or Clark Kent? Literally. I think we're going to see a banded for the most part and a scarf. Lot. I don't think, or not even scarf as much as banded because jet punch is so heat. Does it get SD or that's too broken? No. It gets bulk up. Yeah. So we could see bulk up life orb on like a webs type team. It doesn't Imagine. have a way of hitting Pex, right? No. Oh, it has Zen. It has Zen. It can obliterate oh, Pex with Zen. Yeah, that 460, yeah. Yeah, because I think, I think a web set is really nasty. Uh, like a bulk up life orb set with webs up. But 100 speed is regardless really good. So, and the yeah. fact that it has close combat. There's not a lot of legendaries right now, so. Yeah. Dragapult's able to switch in on this guy as long as you don't ice punch. So that's like the only thing I can think of. Exactly. Um, but yeah, Palafin. Super pumped to use this mon, the zero to hero mon. Everyone's hyped for this guy. Next up we have Arboliva. I love this thing's uh, design. You want to know something though? Arboliva. Let me tell you something about this mon. It's olive. Here's, here's how it went down at Game Freak HQ. They were like, you know, grass is so bad defensively. How do we make it worse? Boom! Normal type. Free. <laughs> now, I really wonder why they did such a thing. But Arboliva regardless, amazing design. Amazing stats, I think, too. Yeah, really good stats all around. Yeah, speed's bad and everything else is great. 125 special attack is ridiculously strong. It's got those uh, Reuniclus vibes. It got the, the, the Rose Ray stats. Yeah, literally, literally. The defense and Spadef are very, very nice. HP also, is good maxed. Though, it gets Earth Power, so it's not like it's not going to be able to touch mm -hmm. uh, Fire types and stuff mm -hmm. and Steel types. It gets... Uh, it gets strength sap, which is pretty good on yes, the sir. stats. I, I, I'm sure it can live one hit no matter. It gets trailblaze. It oh, yeah. also raises speed. It gets leech seed. It gets it gets miracle too, which I think is going to be useful on it as well. Oh yeah, because it can take a special hit easily with 109 easily, special defense. A super effective Earth power off 125 special attack is great coverage. Um, I'm really happy they gave this thing earth power. Every grass needs earth power to be viable, and grass normal is not doing this shit any favors. Uh, typing wise, it is nice that it can go for. Energy balls, energy balls, 90 base power, so that's nice. Pedal dance um, is cool, but you get locked in, so not really. You never really want to be locked into a grass move. Yeah, I agree. It has really good coverage options, though. I mean, grass ground alone covers most of the shit. You're never yeah. going to be able to beat something like Corv, I fear, uh, with this type of Pokemon, right? Uh, not without Terra Blast, no. Yeah, so that's just something you're going to have to accept. That being said, the stats are cool. Um, maybe you do. Maybe you can beat Corv if you're sub leech seed because it can only if it doesn't have U turn, it can only uh, roost eight times. It doesn't have U turn, yeah. If it, but if then it'll have press. If it doesn't have press. It's gonna have Brave Bird. Ain't no way. <laughs> Ain't no way you you winning this. <laughs> Damn, this thing is gonna be weird because its move pool is horrible, but the stats are good. So that's that's what I feel. What do you think? I think we look at the next sick Pokemon. Good day, our believer. Skull Villain. This guy. Skull, Skull Villain is so cool. This, this, this design. design. Look at the German name. Jalupeno. Come on, oh bro. Uh, Game Freak was in their bag with this one. <laughs> so we got Yo, the first his, Grass Fire, which has only been seen in Hack Roms before this. Fire abilities. Super pump. Chlorophyll, Chlorophyll's really good. Uh, you got Moody, of course. I mean, I'll use Moody in game. I'll use Moody in game. Chlorophyll is chlorophyll is definitely gonna be a ladder. This is gonna be the guy for Sun teams, in my opinion. Look at his signature move. Spicy, spicy. extract <laughs> sounds like a meme name. Like that's such a funny. <laughs> the ooh, the spicy extract. That sounds like a funny yeah, ass it, meme. Yeah, like it, it tastes good, but it leaves. It's too spicy. That's yeah, literally, spicy sharply meme, boosting like your attack, and you harshly lower the target's defense. So you really hit the lick on them. Um, It'd be like that. mayonnaise to some people. Literally, so you get SD and you drop their defense, so you force their ass out of the. Out of the, you know, building. I like this. Coverage-wise, Grass Fire is the best thing you can ask for on a Sun team. You get yeah, to use Solar Beam. You get your Flamethrower boosted as well. Um, he gets Overheat, it, it Fire has, Blast. It has Stomping Tantrum, which is all Stomping Tantrum through, we were right? talking about, because that's all you need to do to beat Heatran. Uh, all the egg moves or whatever. But 108 Special Attack and 108 Attack are e amazing. This is like Shift Tree, but way better. Yeah. That's how I feel about it. Because Shift Tree... You would see Chef, Shiftry on those OU Sun teams with Torkoal too. And like it's a fun mod to use. You know, Shiftry has cool coverage, growth, all that stuff. This is Shiftry, but 100 times better. Yeah. It's, I mean, this literally gets growth as well. Like, yeah. fire move. When you have stab fire move, yeah. 
Beautiful. I think specs can work too. Overheat. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This guy's gonna be really, really, That's really, have, really strong. This is crazy. Where's the Dragon Pulse? I'm a big fan of this, honestly. I think Growth 3 attack is going to be the one. Dragon Pulse? It gets pulsed? No, I wish. Damn, because I was going to say, Dragon switching in is the only annoying thing. Like, yeah, what's-his-face yeah. is super annoying. D-Knight? I wish we knew if Terrasalizing was staying or not, even though we're pretty sure it's not. Because the amount of things you can do with that... Oof. Yeah, no, nah, I agree. This guy will be fun. He'll be a Sun, steam, a sun Team staple. It's just going to be tough with D-Knight and all them. Billy Bolt. Belly Bolt, this guy is Seismitoad's cousin. I was very, very, very excited for him. And then <sighs> I saw his stats. And, you know, the speed really let me down. The rest of the stats are not too bad. Defenses are good. Special attacks okay. He's pure it electric. Seismitoad's cousin. It has its speed tier. Yeah. Pure electric. Pure, pure electric with those uh, defenses. Electromorphosis. Comes charged when it takes damage, boosting the power of the next electric type move the Pokemon uses. So if you get hit that That's turn, nice. is your yeah. return attack stronger? Looks like it. That's pretty. It gets uh, it gets parabolic charge for healing. Very nice. This will be an amazing, uh, amazing mm -hmm. one. Never mind. I'm scrolling through the coverage right now. What are you talking Whoa. About? Yeah, yeah. yeah, Volt Switch and Chilling Water. That's all you need. Good day, Belly Bolt. You got Volt Switch. This guy's coverage water. is too ass to give charge. to give him a lot of love. No, you're good, dude. You run Slack off Volt Switch. Chilling no, water. No, I'm very disappointed. Charge. I'm very disappointed. Chilling Water is 50 base power. Please, please, sir. What do you take me for? We're running the muddy water. All right. Revervroom. Nice name. Vroom Steel, Steel Poison's a great typing. The 4x yeah, ground like weak, but you do have some cool stuff. Some cool resistances. Hey, it's not four times when you have the filter, okay? Oh. It's like three, three X. Three X. Yeah. Well said. Something like that. Yeah. It gets shift gear. Okay. Shift oh, gear's cool. Nice. Shift gear with a uh, heavy slam. This thing Ooh. looks like it's heavy. Let me see how much it weighs. It looks like a full ass car. Yeah, dude, it's, it's, it's 120 color arms. Not bad, not uh -huh. bad. Probably, probably strong enough. Iron head, too, so you can just flinch. Mm -hmm. Poison, gunk shot, gunk shot, gunk shot, heat. Bulldoze. Oh, it gets this physical move called spin out. Zen. Or pex. It's toxic bite. What's spin out? Uh, it's um, 100 base power, 100 accuracy. The user spins furiously by straining its legs, inflicting damage on the target. This also harshly lowers the user speed. Doesn't really matter too much about my, I think, my speed being lowered. This is a cool move. Yeah, it's a great, it's a really strong, you just run spin out, gunshot. This, this is some bandit shit for sure. Yeah, easily, easily. Where's my car U-turn? Oh, this is cool. Yo, sh yo, this is I, actually- You definitely this, make U-turn for this cars. Thing, this Why thing, does this thing, this thing, U-turn? This thing's stats are heat. Yeah, it gets, oh, it gets parting shot. Okay, okay. Sometimes your car gets messed up. Yeah, parting shot, okay, yeah. So no, I really, shot. I really like this guy. Mm -hmm. It also learns toxic. I would have never expected on. this to be some crazy shift gear thing, but I mean, it makes sense, right? It's a car. It, shift gear, it shifts gears. Yeah, I'm really excited. Why is, why is it a U-turn? I know. Cars I'm very sorry. Cars do U-turn, and I'm very sorry that you're not able to use U-turn. You, want me, to insurance, you want me to submit a complaint? I'll do that for yes, you. For, for you, I'll do that. Please. Anyways, I'll be sweeping many with this mon in the beginning of the generation. Watch out. And if you bring tox specs versus me, don't talk to me ever again. Cheated. Because I would oh, rather run one? Stomping Tantrum than Zen. The next mod is one of my favorite mods. Orthworm! Everyone knows Orth that this has, this has one of the most amazing abilities of all time that we've been asking for forever, a.k.a. <gasps> Earthquake Absorb! Earth yes. Eater. If hit by a ground move, the Pokemon has its HP restored instead of taking damage. So you restore 25% Dude, heat. it's that and it's pure steel. Exactly. This like, is like is amazing. It's like a steel flying without the bullshit from flying type. It gets earthquake. It gets shed tail too, which is pretty big, right? Mm -hmm. So the, the the substitute and before switching, which is nice. Oh yeah, the shed tail. So shed tail, guys, if you don't know, you sacrifice fifty percent of your health and then you s switch out with a substitute out. So it's like sub it's plus high, baton it gets pass. Iron defense body press, by the way. Ooh. Iron defense so body is, press. That's nice setup. That's actually pretty interesting. Also gets coil. Also gets spikes. Gets stuff. Gets gets heavy slam and it's six hundred pounds. Okay, so heavy slam is definitely what we're gonna be rocking. Yeah, it gets curse and coil. Body press burst. for steel types. Dude, this is some, this is like Steelix. This is like Steelix vibes. Yeah, or, or like it's like Steelix, or it's like Santa Condo almost. Nah, man, this is super Steelix it's vibes. Cool. Look at the stats. The stuff. Yeah, yeah, you're right. And plus, it's like a yo. This is giving me them Steelix vibes. Spikes yeah, is right, real right. cool. Iron defense body press is really nice. We should slam. we should use this on offense. This will be fun. Yeah, I'm yeah, I'm yeah. hype. Get your plus six landers. HP is Maybe. super ass, but whatever. Just Bro, that's long, dude. You lead this versus landers, and you just body, you use iron defense and beat it 1v1. Tell you, landers. Landers not doing a damn thing. 
Orthrum is the GOAT. Next up, we have the one. The only. Well, Mouse it's not exactly one. It's one, two, three, four, five. Family of four, even though their move hits ten times. So this is one of the funniest designs possible. Mouse hold. Um, if you guys this don't know. The forms. Uh, one is three, and then the other is four, which is really interesting. That one of their kids go off to school, boarding school, or or, or die. R.I.P. All right. So we have technician on mouse hold, which is definitely what we're going to be seeing uh, on this mon. And the whole big gimmick with this mon is that it's the fun little cute normal type. Like this is like Mega. Uh, what's his name? Chinchino. This is like Mega Chinchino. Yeah. This guy has a new move called Population Bomb. And now, the if you fact don't know, they called it that is crazy. I didn't think that move would bang in the in the West, but I guess they really don't care over at Game Freak. So, population bomb. The user fellow, the user's fellows gather in droves to perform a combo <laughs> attack that hits the target one to ten times in a row. That's so right. When, Blender, when Blender's saying he's calling up the boys, when I say when I say I call up my guys, and you see population hit ten times, the whole team pulled up. So it checks it checks accuracy every single time. I'm pretty sure. Oh really? So the odds are what, 0.9 to the 10th power? Yeah. So there's like a 10% chance then of hitting all of them. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe Not I'm 10. Wrong. It's probably less. It's like probably like 40 or 30 or more, I mean. Whatever. Regardless, don't care. Population Bomb is a very epic move. Of course, with it has... It has... Yeah, with technicians, guys. So with technician factored in, if you get 10 hits, 337.5 base power. Also gets located... Oh, that's, that's with... Uh, with Stab? Oh, yeah. Factored in? Yeah. Uh, also gets low kick. It has bullet seed. It's, the other bullshit. And low kick literally differentiates it from Sinchino too because Sinchino doesn't have low kick. That shit only it's gets wake three, up slap. It's also 353 speed. It's super fast, just like Sinchino. However, now we're going to show you the real kicker. Stop you the think? stats. All right. No, yeah, no. It's other stats are pretty bad. But don't matter. Woo! <laughs> Boy, and just click my normal move. Those stats? <laughs> Whoa. The speed is crazy. The move is crazy. And it is early meta, so we never know how things are going to develop at first. All I know is that I will be using Population Bomb Mousehold quite a bit. It does have that item. Well, they a lot of Pokemon can run this item. The uh, Loaded Dice, which ups your chance of multi-hit moves. I believe moves that can hit up to five times hit always four to five. And then I don't know how it works with ten hit moves. We still got to see. But hopefully, you know, you can get like seven to ten hits. That would be epic, right? But That'd be sick if I can get. You don't even need that much to be strong with technician. Just plus. keep in mind that this thing hits two forty nine attack because you have to run Jolly. So uh, yes. strength is not his uh, his strong suit. No pun intended. So mouse hold twenty five have a chance of. Oh, this is your boy. This is something. One in twenty five have a chance of evolving. What the fuck? C <laughs> Titan, the Come goat. On. Goat. It's time. It's Fastest time. Slush rusher in the First West. off, three brazy abilities. But we're rocking with the slush. With the rush. It's time. So see Titan, he looks like a little troll, right? He looks funny. He looks like he just doesn't care about nothing. You need to understand, this guy is not a little troll. He's 14 feet tall. Almost 15 feet. He could have gone to the league. 1,500 pounds. He could have gone to the league five times. Now, I'm going to tell you something about this, man. I don't need to show you the, all of its stat moves. Uh, all, all these moves, it doesn't matter. I already know the set that we're running on C-Titan. My boy belly has drum. belly drum. My boy has icicle crash. My boy has oh, super power. Crash. My boy has ice spinner. My boy has uh, yeah. earthquake. No, my brother, my brother. While I do love the accuracy of ice spinner, can I interest you in a 30% flinch chance from Ice School Crash? It's 80, it's 80 versus 85 and you're plus 6. Would you rather miss at Well, plus if I'm six? not plus 6, I will need to flinch. Okay. <laughs> okay. I would just run both. Oh, and it gets Ice Shard too, right? Dude, yeah, this yeah, Mon's does. move pool is so damn right. good. This is like Darm Galar back at it again. I'm telling you, folks. Literally. This shit in the hail. Look at the stats, right? Defenses. Yo, does hail boost just defense or is it both? Defense? Just defense. Just defense. Okay, okay. So obviously I'm going to run this under hail, guys. Or obviously. snowstorm, rather. Uh, this new move, Chili Reception, which I was talking about on Slowking and Slowking G, it sets up the snowstorm, and then it automatically switches out, kind of like a teleport-style move. So basically I'm going to run Slowking with this guy, set up the, uh, what's it called? The snowstorm. Then I bring this guy in at double speed, get off my belly drum. Even though the defenses are bad, we will have plus one defense effectively because of the snow. 170 base HP, so this thing is extremely tanky. 
And then 113 attack is really, really high, dude. 357, you no, know? No, it's really good. It's really, really good. good. You just run a citrus on this thing. And you, exactly. You jump up in front of everything. Belly jump up in front of everything. I mean, you want to go even harder, run screens. And you're literally never going to, like, die. Like, it's... You can run a screen on... I don't know if Slow King gets screens, but I'm pr it probably does. The psychic type. I think it's, think it's light screen. That's what I'm saying. Um, both, both, uh, both of its, all of its abilities are good. Thick fat and sure. Thick exactly. Thick fat on an ice type is fire. Thick fat on an ice type is fire, especially on this guy. His HP is gonna really do a lot of, uh, a lot of good things for him. Like he, this you thing is gonna live moves that you would never. Like I even did a calc and banded Weavile versus this thing. If it had knockoff, right? Weavile doesn't have knockoff, but it was just the first thing in the calc. But banded Weavile knockoff versus this inhale, so this effectively is plus one defense, just forty nine percent. Yep. Nothing. Insane. Right? Insane. And that, and that's with an item. So I'm very, very excited to use C Titan, guys. I'm going to be running Belly Drum for certain. Uh, the, I mean, you can run different sets, but I, I think Belly Drum Inhale is the best with Slush Rush. That's what I'm running every game. So get ready for C Titan, the snow boss. Next up, we have the Pseudo Legendary. Now, I'm, I'm super excited about Big Backs. Big Back Scalibur. Now, this guy is a beast. Dragon Ice. Who was the last Dragon Ice that we had? Oh. Big Kurum, and what happened to him? <laughs> R.I.P. They took my boy forever. The guy was broken, obviously, but this guy, Baxcalibur, despite looking like Duraludon's left cousin, yeah, that's right, Game Freak, I'm on to you. The moves it gets, amazing. Glaive Rush is the first one we want to talk about. So this is its signature move. The user throws its entire body into a reckless charge. Attacks from opposing Pokemon during the next turn cannot miss and will inflict double damage. Yeah, so I'm gonna switch. The, I'm gonna switch. the negative effect of this move is terrible. However, 120 base power physical move coming off this guy's 145 base attack. Yes, that's right. Landorus style attack. Uh, 145 base. 120, and you don't get locked in. You don't have to worry about confusion or none of that. You just have to switch the next turn, likely. Or if you're faster than the Pokemon, you can use it again. Only thing with Glaive Rush is that you have to switch out after. But I think this wait, move... Wait wait, 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 wait. Does Glaive Rush only work on this guy, or does it mean all my Pokemon? Like, if I switch on something, is it getting double damage too? That needs to be tested. Pretty sure that's not how it works. Otherwise, this mod is never being used in its life. Okay. Drops, Im drops immediately to ZU and gets coded out of the game in the next patch. If that's oh, how it works, I'm going to tell you right now. People are going to rage and <laughs> Nintendo's going to get an issue. <laughs> you know, people love to complain. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Glaive Rush, I can see that being really, really, really good on choice sets. Just smash what's ever in front of you and then get out. It's even ice. Swords Dance. Yeah. Oh, I didn't even realize it got Swords like Dance. It gets, dra it gets Dragon Dance and Swords Dance. So like, why This not? is my guy on webs. Web's cheese is always huge in the beginning of a generation. Everyone likes yeah, Sticky you, Web. You literally just run Dragon Dance, Earthquake, uh, Glaive Rush, because they're not going to be hitting you the next turn anyway, mm -hmm. right? If you're faster. Ice Dragon is great ice, coverage. Ice crash. It's literally cure them. It's only good, bad versus steals, but like, if you really care you that have, much, just run Stomping Tantrum. Or, oh, no, Earthquake, yeah. It gets Earthquake. Stomping tantrum. Icicle Spear is cool. Um, it does not get Icicle Crash. I think it just only gets Icicle Spear. No, it gets Icicle Crash. Ice it gets Crash. It gets Crash. Okay, cool, cool. See? Okay, cool, cool, cool. I got, I got scared for a second. No, no, no. It gets crash. Um, but this yeah, thing Swords is. Dance can run uh, Ice Shard. Dragon Dance doesn't need to. Defenses are great. One fifteen HP, ninety two defense, eighty six spit F. Very curum esque. Oh yeah, bro. Send this, un send this under hail and get your plus one defense. Didi, Didi, Didi is like gonna be so damn annoying under hail. Yeah, that's good. Dude, this I cannot wait to use this. Eighty seven speed is such a good sweet spot too for a Didi Mon. Like, oh man. Me and oh, this good. guy. I'm going to be setting up on Garchomps under the hill because I'm plus one defense wait. too. And there's no scale wait, shot anymore. Garchomp going to do? Go for, for Dragon Claw? Outrage. <laughs> and I'm still going to live because I have 115 base HP. Literally. Yeah. This is crazy. Yeah. Like, this definitely lives Outrage. I can't wait to use back Excalibur. What a good mod. Tatsugiri. I like this guy's design. That's for sure. So this is the mon that raises uh, multiple stats. Dragon Water. Yeah. So this is an interesting. This is Don Dozo's BFF. Boss. Boss. This is boss. Sorry, not his BFF. This is a boss. So this guy's a little interesting. Water Dragon, which we love that typing. It gets Pulse, uh, which you know Nasty is cool. Plot. Nasty Plot. Other than that, DD. Draco Meteor. Hydro. Rapid Spin. Rapid Spin. Special Attack is amazing. Everything else is ass. 82 no, speed. You just, you just do Rapid Spin Draco. <laughs> Yeah, I would run this dude with specs, personally, I think. Yo, I'd run the random battle set. Nasty Plot Rapid Spin. Oh, on, uh, Draco Surf. Yeah. Yeah, I think you're right. 120 special attack's cool. 82 dude, speed's ass, but this special attack's really so cool. It's so I like funny. this, man. He's funny. It's good. What's his ability? Tachikiri will go into Don Dozo's mouth and be unable to be damaged attack. Don Dozo's stats all raised by... St Hello? 
Bro hit the the, the super geomancy. Yeah, but it's based on uh, it's based on the forms that it is. Guys, eat. Touch the Geary. Good day. Cyclozar. This is something that everybody was talking about in the beginning when this was like this was like the first guy who was uh, re uh revealed, right? Yeah. Or one of the first ones. This yeah, is awesome. Fast, Dragon normal. Fast as hell. We've had this typing before on uh, silly trampa. Now abilities, Silly two great ones. Shed skin, but then it has the goatest of abilities, regenerator. regenerator. Regenerator will forever be one of the top three abilities of all time. And even on this little guy, it's amazing because this thing has access to the move Shed Tail. Shed Tail, you create a substitute for yourself using your own HP, and then you switch places with a party Pokemon in waiting, like we were talking about on Orthworm, right? That's who got it, yep. or not? Izu got it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Shed Tail, you sacrifice half your HP, and then you baton pass out with the sub uh, intact to whatever you want. Well, the good thing with Cyclozar is that it has 121 HP, and again, it has Regenerator. So even if the defenses and the HP are not good, it's What's so it fast, mean, yeah. and it has Regenerator. So yep. I feel like it's going to be really good at getting... Mon's pretty cool, dude. It also gets like... like 95 gets, attack is workable. It gets knockoff. It gets These are all good moves. These are all good moves. It gets, uh, it gets shift gear. Okay. So like it has potential to not suck. No, I agree with you on that. This is interesting. Like, like obviously you're gonna be running the the, the shed tail stuff. Yeah, but you can use other shit. Like knockoff is amazing uh, support. Bro, right? I'm on heavy duty boots with rapid spin shed tail. When uh, and I'm gonna have a U-turn as well. I'm gonna have a U-turn as well. Yeah, because I'm, exactly, I'm gonna need exactly. I'm gonna need a real switch sometimes too. Yeah. Sometimes I don't have this will be a crazy boots. support guy. And knockoff as my last move. This will be a crazy support guy. Oh yes, the goat. Walk 100 steps in the overworld. Why are they making me do this? Yeah. Go get some exercise, little bro. Today... Like exercise. <laughs> 100 steps. <laughs> get the blood pumping, little bro. Sorry to say. Today we have Palmut. For today's showdown live, we have Palmut the goat. I like the German name. Pamo Mamo. <laughs> Pamo Mamo. Okay, guys. So this is the Mon with Revival Blessing besides Rabsky. I did a video with this on my channel. It's able to bestow a loving blessing, reviving a part of Pokemon that is fainted and restoring half that Pokemon's max HP. So, we already talked about it earlier. It's able to bring back any Pokemon. This guy has Iron Fist, which is its hidden ability. I think that's a superior ability to both Volt Absorb and Natural Cure. Those are both great abilities too, don't get it twisted. It's but this guy, electrolyte. this guy has Ice Punch, he has Drain Punch. He's Electric close Fighting combat. Type. Electric Fighting Type. Has Close Combat, right? Seed uh, Bomb for Quagsire. And then Double Shock. This is Burn Up, but the electric version. And this is boosted by Iron Fist, I was told. Yeah. So this is just... And you don't become ledge type after, so you don't... Not even you're just a pure fighting type, after. so it's not even like it's yeah, a big deal. So it's not even a big deal. Yeah. You, can, you still have your close combat, you still have your Ice Punch, and you can use that Revival Blessing move. This is going to be one of the best mons. There's not even a doubt in my mind. Uh, I think the set is Ice Punch, Close Combat, and then you can run Thunder Punch or the Double Shock move, and then you always run Revival Blessing, because why would you not run Revival Blessing? Yeah, yeah, agreed. I'm so excited to run this Mon. It even gets Mock Punch, which is Iron Fist boosted too. 115 attack, 105 speed is amazing. This is literally like what Electivire wishes it could do. I agree. I could not be more excited to use Palma. But if you guys want to see more about Palma, go check out my video. Uh, we got a more bigger breakdown about that. Kilowattrell. This Mon's sick too. I Beautiful I design. I love Electric Flying. Electric Flying is one of my favorite typings too. Wind Power. It, uh... So, so, so the wing move is really wind power is really cool, right? Mm -hmm. So Pokemon becomes charged when hit when it's hit by a wind move, boosting the power of its next electric move. You could run Tailwind with this in, in standard. Like you'll probably run it in VGC as well. Mm -hmm. but you can run Tailwind with this in standard, and your Volt Switch is powered up next turn. Wait, like, that's a, wait, that's really nice. Yeah, because you can Tailwind and then Volt Switch still have some Tailwind turns and do things. But obviously, Electric Flying is nice. We had it written in Molga, but this one's actually strong. Mm-hmm. Like 339. No, for real. Yeah. And then the other end is like Thunderous, which is like in a whole different ball game. Of course. Right. But it, but this one gets Hurricane, which Thunderous. Exactly. Which right? shit can only dream of. Hurricane, Thunderbolt, U turn, Volt Switch. 105 special attack. Wait, 125 speed? I'm saying, dude, it's not bad. Wait, bro, as fast as it gets. That's what I'm saying. Wait, he does not look that. Yo, he is crazy. It's Weather Ball, too. I'm going to win this boy on Bro, this is the new Zap. This is the, this is the other inverse Zap. Instead of the, the high special attack. And the low speed, you swap. You get the decent special attack. I mean, decent special attack and then super high speed. Yeah. Yo, this thing is sick. This is, is going to be cool in, in all weathers. You can run it in snow, too, and go for weather ball. Yeah. And get that bolt beam going on. Yep. Wow.
Kilowatt Trail. I'll be using him. Competitive I'll would be try, great I wanna, too. I want to try it with. I want to try. Yeah, yeah competitive is really good. Like your your hurricanes knocking out like Landers and stuff. Volt absorb to totally own Volt Switch, coming on Rotoms. I like I like Volt Switch as well. Like I think all of its abilities are really good. Yeah, Volt absorb. That's what I was saying. Um, damn, this thing is cool, bro. Volt Switch next, Hurricane. Wow. The next mod is one of my favorite from this generation too. Bombardier and Squawkabilly. Yeah, no, 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 no. Bombardier first. Oh. Bombardier. I thought the Squawkabilly. Sure like, I hadn't even seen this joint. Dude, Bombardier is three stabs. Flying Dark. And Rock. Rocky Payload. Yes. I remember you were telling me about this. So we got a Mon with Flying Stab, Dark Stab, and effectively Rock Stab without all of Rock's weaknesses. What more could you want? So yes. let me see its stats real quick. We got 82 speed, 103 attack, okay defenses, mediocre HP. So, it's workable. It's not good, but this will definitely be a lower tier mon. Oh, when I'm going for Stone Edge, when I'm going for Knock Off, Sucker facts, Punch, facts, facts. Brave Bird, Sucker Punch. Got bro got shot. that, bro got that Power Herb Sky Attack on deck. That yeah, Brave Bird on deck. It has strong Stealth Rock. Moves. Gets all the good Rock moves, which is Heat. Yeah, yeah. Ooh, gets U-Turn as well. I'm looking forward to this. this Learns a lot of good moves. I don't even know what, like, what I'm gonna do. I'm definitely running Stone Edge on it. Yeah, you run st Stone Edge, Brave Bird, Knock Off. Fuck it. And then go Rocks last. Fuck it. And go Suicide Lead. Just get yeah, off all the heads. You can do Sucker. You can just do Four Attack. Oh, sucker, Four Attack punch, Sucker. Turn. Yeah, facts. Brave Bird, Knock Off. That's the thing. But do I run Do I run Sucker Punch? Do I run U Turn? Do I this run is a cool Mon. Like, Despite the defenses, this is a great Mon. Stats are so cool. Super, super cool. Bombardier would be cool. I'm. The pay, Rocky Payload's nice. Because imagine having a backup banded edge, you know? That's awesome. Like, how nice is that? It's so sick. Yeah. Stab always. The next one is so funny. Squawkabilly. This guy's hilarious looking. I'm trying to look at what it... Like. Squawk. Squawk. Roost. Brave Bird. Let me take his stats. He don't look very good. Okay. Uh, but, but it gets a hustle and guts. Chatot so, you know, ass like, Pokemon. You're gonna, it's literally bad swallow. It's like Chatot or swallow or some trash. You're, you're running, you're, you can run Intimidate too. Heat Wave too? Wow, you really jo jocking swag from swallow. This is the worst mod ever. I'd hella run, I'd hella run guts on it though. Like if I have to, because it has facade. Okay. Right? You run guts with facade. Facade, Brave Bird. Uh, brave Bird. Yeah, swallow, U turn. <laughs> bro, bro doesn't even have superpower. He has reversal. <laughs> it gets U turn. Hey, swallow doesn't have that period, okay? So. You're right. Shoot. Squawkabilly, you have a really nice design. Uh, you just, just use terrible ass fighting, bro. Two, two feet fighting. tall and five pounds? Oh my god. Bro, was a pussy. Yeah. Moving on. Moving on. Moving on. This mod's let's nice. Move on to, uh, let's move on to Halucha. Flamigo. Flamigo! AKA Halucha Gen With 9 Scrappy. edition. Scrappy is amazing. Screw Coastar. 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 So, we got the flying fighting type, guys. Straight off the bat, we see it gets Brave Bird, it gets Low Kick, it gets Roost. It, These are all gets decent. Gets close combat. Gets close combat, good. Acro. Um, Throw chop. Bulk up, U turn. U -turn, U -turn SD, U -turn. SD. Nah. S. 90 Such speed, 115 that. attack. Ooh, damn. These defenses are shysty. But the attack is really nice with 115 attack. Whatever, bro. I'm running Adamant on this thing. I'm already the running Adamant I Bandit mean, close combat. Yeah, yeah, I'm already running Bandit close scrap. combat. Yeah, that's with Scrappy, really yeah, and you have U turn too. Exactly. This is gonna be a nice little meme, super H O, ba 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 body bag. <laughs> I'm looking forward to this guy, but he's memes. Yeah. Let me see, let me see who's next. Big cloth. Cloth is actually cool. I remember cloth from the trailer, um, and I remember I when I saw his stats in the dock, I was like, okay, these are really weird. So cloth looks like they just closed their eyes and threw darts. At a dartboard, and this was, it was the, so freaking fast. This was the stat distribution: seventy-five speed, fifty-five spadef, thirty-five sp special attack, great defense, dude, average dude, attack. Def bro, it has regenerator as well. Oh, are you serious? I know cloth yeah, had regenerator. Ooh, off. hold on, regenerator plus knockoff is nasty. But but the kicker though is you use swords dance. And you use its anger shell. When attack causes HP to drop to half or less, the Pokemon gets angry, which is shell and it shell smashes. What the fuck? So bro just decides to smash at half HP? Yeah. Yeah, that's fair. You can run Swords Dance. I'm literally running Swords Dance Smash. Or Swords Dance plus that ability. Plus that ability. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is literally insane. You uh you you rock move, you stop. Bro has crab hammer. Oh perfect. Perfect. Bro got dark water rock coverage. That's all you need. This thing is literally crazy. 
Do not sleep on cloth. Sleep on cloth only at your... Uh... Bro, it gets knocked as well. Like, oh, nah. 150, dude, 100 just... attack is so ass, but this mon is so need, heat. Do you even need crab hammer, dude? Don't you just run stone edge, uh, high horsepower knockoff? Horse is probably best for steals. I agree with that. Like, what you need crab hammer for? The knockoff plus stone edge won't Nothing. Good versus... Opposing cloth. Like, Landers and Glasscore, I don't think... <laughs> oh, yeah, Landers it's Landers. Is the game till ho Landers not going to be in the game till home. Right? No! I don't think uh, it's in the base game. I have no idea about Glasscore. I did not look at the... Cloth will be using you. Oh, Garga. One of my favorite. This design-wise is one of my Are absolute favorite. Are you going to call favorite. it Garganacle or Garga... Salt. Garganacle. Garga I'm calling it Garganacle for sure. Okay. Purifying Salt. The Pokemon's pure salt protects it from status condition and has the damage taken from ghost type moves. Resistant what to ghosts. what an incredible sick. ability, especially when ghosts are just everywhere fucking shit up all the time. Love this ability, man. And the and the just the and just the added on little you know, let's protect it from status conditions too, because why not? I, I really like that a lot. Because it gives it its own little niche. Yeah, you see its move? Salt cure? Let me take a look. No, 24. The user, salt, the user salt cures a target, inflicting damage every turn. Steel and water types are more strongly affected by this move. This is so cool. What? So you just have to switch if this goes up. It's like a super evil leech seed, or it's a trapping move. Yeah, it looks like a little... Doubles the damage inflicted on water and steel. It does 80 versus water and steel. What the hell? This is a whole ass move. Yeah. It's, that's a, it's a literal attack. It's an attack that does damage. Oh, no. Nah, this is evil. This is heat. I'd use it. It's 60. It's yeah. 60, right? With stab. I mean, it's stab, right? Garganacle has really gets, great defenses. Gets recover. Gets recover right under it. Gets recover rocks. Heat. Heavy slam, earthquake, stone edge, explosion. What's this guy's typing? Pure rock. Okay. Gets all the random crazy moves. Mm -hmm. Body press with iron defense. Mm -hmm. Re recover with curse. Hey, man, all the punches. It's, it's good. It's literally, it's, literally, it's, 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 it's learn set is actually quite nice. It's literally Gigalith. It's okay. The defenses are absolutely incredible. 100 HP, 130 defense, 90 spadef. This guy's tanky as it. It's tanky as shit. Beats the ghosts, right? I'm What's his face is getting owned by this. I mean, uh, Skeleton Dirge. Good day, Sk Dirge. You're getting oh, cooked. The elements of punches too. Like, what are they doing? Dirge is cooking. Uh, oh, Dirge gotta, is getting cooked by this. I gotta use Salt Cure. Salt Cure is heat, bro. Salt Cure is I heat. Try. I gotta try it. I'm looking forward to Garganek. I'm using oh, this guy. Glamora. Glamora is his bro that's a little bit uh, better as a special attacker. This month's cool too. Toxic Debris is a new ability. So whenever you get, uh, when you take damage from physical moves, you set a Toxic Spikes. Yes. This guy's ability, Toxic Debris, is absolutely awesome. Also, obviously. Corrosion's really, really good too. You know what? If I'm running Corrosion, I run Toxic Spikes on it anyway. But True. if I'm not, if I'm running Toxic Debris, there's no point in running Toxic Spikes. Agreed. Because you just switch it into U turn or whatever. So, Mortal Spin. The user performs a spin attack that uh, uh, can also eliminate the effects of such moves as Bind, Wrap, and Leech Seed. This also po uh, poisons opposing Pokemon. So, does this remove hazards? I think it I has... believe it does. I I, I'm going to look at the doc real quick. Yeah. Just keep talking about it. I'll look at the doc. But yeah, it gives a lot of good moves other than just Mortal Spin. Um, T-Spikes, good support. Spiky Shield, always an annoying you know, set to have. Rock Poison, we last saw this on the Heligo guys. The worst part about this is that Meteor Beam is not accessible. I don't even know if Meteor Beam is in the game, but Meteor Beam is definitely not on this, which sucks because that's like... It says in the dot that it's basically spin. It, that's what I think. I think it does remove the hazards, but we'll have to see for pure Maybe clarification. Maybe they didn't want to put hazards because they didn't want to scare VGC. Anyways, oh, <laughs> well said. Um, anyways, guys, this guy has a really good special move pool tool, but I want to get down to the stats so I can show you that this guy has 130 special attack and 86 speed. Very similar to Goldango, which has 84 speed and 133 special attack. But yeah, this guy hits like a rock. No pun yeah. intended. Ha ha. That was pretty corny. Spikes, it wasn't on purpose, though, I swear. T spikes, spikes, the toxic derby ability, uh, earth power. Which is great for sludge bomb rock coverage. Spiky I mean, shield is so cool. doesn't poison ground rock coverage basically take care of everything? Yeah, not yeah. yeah not yeah, Garchomp, yeah. but you can run Dazzling Gleam if you really want to and go Whatever, full you, you Nihilo. Go. Got Grass Knot as well for ground types, right? Exactly. Or no, did yes. I make that up? You probably did. We get Spike Shield though. Energy Ball, Energy it's Ball. Energy That's ball. what I was looking energy at. Ball. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. This thing's coverage is actually really cool. sick. Yeah, Spike Shield's sweet, especially for mind games and shit. Mm -hmm. Ooh. I like Glamora. I think we're going to see a lot of like four attack shits, and you can just switch it in on whatever. Defenses are good. 80, 90, 80 is good. We got uh, who? Grafai. Grafai. I like the name, and the design is really sick as well. Typing is whatever. Poison normal. 
it is prankster parting shot. Prankster parting shot's cool. That grim snarl flow. It's literally knockoff and doodle is stories. sketch, right? Oh no, it it's not. It's role play. This changes yeah. the ability of the user and its ally Pokemon. Hell no. Let me see its stats because its stats looks bad. Defenses are garbage. Speed's good. Attack is mediocrely okay. It gets Swords Dance plus Low Kick though. So Normal yeah. Poison is cool. Swords Dance plus Low Kick is cool. I feel like you're not running any normal move on this Pokemon at any given point ever. What would you, uh, you just can't. You'd just run low kick. You'd run a poison move. It didn't even give it a normal move. It's first, besides Doodle, it has Scratch as a physical offense and Slash. This guy's really something. bro. Knock off, that. Gunk, U-Turn. The priority parting shot's cool. Oh, yeah, this one could be a little annoying. Priority switcheroo. Shot, priority switcheroo. Toxic. You can priority switcheroo, whatever you want to. Priority swagger. Oh, yeah, because that's, that's actually banned, unfortunately. But in-game, oh, no, it's, it's going not. crazy. Swagger's banned. No, it's not. It is. What's not this gen? It's banned in all the other gens. I'm sure it's going to be banned in this gen, too, no? Didn't, they, uh, didn't we not ban it just because of the fact that um, dark types aren't affected anymore as well? I don't know. Swagger around? I think it's banned. I think all uncompetitive stuff is banned. I don't know. Let's move on to Doc's Boon. Doc's Buns. Doc's Buns. Well said. Well baked body. The most hilarious ability ever. The Pokemon takes no damage when hit by fire type moves. Instead, its defense stat is sharply boosted. Hey, can I, can I, I'm, I'm, my, my bad, my bad. I'm mad. Why did they give this the ability that they should have gave Palisade with water? You know, that's a well, that's, you know, it's a good question. It's a good question. Anyway, and it, and it, it's a great question. And that's all I can leave you with. I can just let you know that it's a good question. Answers? Don't ask me for all that. But the question, it's an amazing one. So, it's pure fairy that can switch into Heat Trans Magma Storm. Oh, hell no. <laughs> it gets Play Rough as well. Play Rough, Fangs. Wait, wait, I'm looking at stats. It does not use Play Rough. I'm going to tell you that right now. Hey, yo. Hey, yo. yo it has Wish. Yeah, you, you, you use 57 press. HP, yo. This is what you do, bro. It's you fast pray, as hell. You switch into a fire move, and you use body press. Yeah. And you wish as well. Yeah, your support. Shit's okay. Speed's nice. It's literally wish support. And beats like, Heatran. Yeah, if it's that wish support, that can beat Heatran. My boss stiff. This guy's really, really, really heat. The design is hilarious. Intimidate, guard dog. Boost the Pokemon's attack stat if intimidate... And also, it can't be Dragon Tailed or Roared Out, which is pretty cool. It's pretty cool. Or uh, Eject Butt. Stakeout. Or not Eject Butt, no, Red Carded. Stakeout, we all know what Stakeout does from Gumshoes. Doubles the damage dealt to the target's replacement if the target switches out. So hopefully, my boss diff can scare Pokemon out. <laughs> it's, uh, it's, it's your move is really funny. 120 attack is amazing. Great you HP, great scare, defense. You you're pure dark. You're good spin scare 85 sp speed is heat, too. This is giving me uh, Houndstone Dude, vibes. It, it's signature move is called Come up, Come up, um, come up and... Oh, I saw that. I said, when I was recording, I said, come up and that's, that, that's what I used when I hit 100k on YouTube. The user retaliates with much greater force against the opponent that last inflicted damage on us. This is like retaliate, but dark move. Yeah, it looks like with much greater force. Maybe it's Yo, stakeout is really heat, especially because it's pure dark type. Jawlock. Jawlock Nobody... is cool. Just be careful versus fairy types, folks. If you're clicking Jawlock, don't click it all crazy. Nah, I mean, Jawlock means you can't switch unless the opponent. Exactly. Plays. Exactly. Yeah. Um, so you better be you better be ready to kill if they go to a fairy R.I.P. Elemental Fangs is good. Uh, facade is techable. Psy Fangs is cool. Rough, rough this will be it, fun. It has, like, it has like all the pity moves. Yeah, yeah, literally all the pity moves is a great way to put it. Like Stakeout is awesome though. I'll be using this. Gives me thievil vibes. I'll be using it gets this. Outrage. Outrage. Yeah, <laughs> we need that. The streets the streets were waiting on that one. <laughs> Ramblegast, a.k.a. Delmice's left cause. Literally. Grass Literally. Ghost, That's perfect. Um, strong as Delmice. Tax, 115 attack, Delmice Nine is fast as shit. Yeah. This is cool, actually. Get HP is bad, but the, well. the speed and the attack are really great. Yeah, get stressed out, Belisi. Kind of reminds me of the Gore Guy stuff. Get Ooh. Spikes as well. Spikes, really cool. Phantom Force, Shadow Sneak. Power Whip is the big one. Obviously. Ooh, Power Whip. Power up rapid spin. Whoa. Doesn't have good, doesn't have de uh, good the, ghost fit. He really isn't like a Mega Delmice. Yeah, he, he only has Phantom Force, unfortunately. No Poltergeist. I ain't using that crap. 
can only use force 90 base I'm definitely using, it is I'm sneak definitely using shadow sneak. it is sneak yeah. but yeah i know you're right Power yeah Delma has three stabs wind Delma's rider four. uh boost the pokemon hit by wind move uh so that's pretty cool and you're immune to the wind move so that's really nice for grass type you probably run like Infiltrator is uh, really sick though. Yeah, yeah can never go wrong. Like spikes, power whip, rapid spin, shadow sneak, some type of thing. You can never go wrong with spikes and spin. Yeah, I agree. So I think Bramble Gast will be kind of good. In OU, I can't say. Next we have one of my favorites, and the final one of today because we're not doing the paradox forms. That'll be a different video, folks. We ain't got a, we ain't got all day. We can't put another two hours in on the paradox forms because yes. once we go over those move pools, Lord, that's gonna take ten minutes per. So we got Goldango or Golden Go or whatever. All I know is I'm in love with this Pokemon's design. Gold. This shit is going to be in my in game. I'm so fire, bro. I'm Look at him. He get his coin up, bro. This is so absolutely in my in game. It's like just this ability is so you know how hard is it gonna be for you to get it in game? You don't know how hard it is to get them on, do you? It's very hard. Uh, okay. Whatever, I'll trade you feel good talking to me like this? I'll trade it to you. You're so. a good friend saying whatever, you'll trade it to me. That's why you're my man. Abilities, good as gold. A body of pure solid gold gives the Pokemon full immunity to other Pokemon status moves. So that's, that's an amazing... Design is so good. Steel Ghost, a.k.a. the Aegislash typing. One of the, with nasty plot. One of the greatest rain. typings ever uh, in, in the form of Steel Ghost. So it has amazing moves. Recover, Shadow Ball, Power Gem. Make it rain. 120 base power steel move, which drops your special attack only one stage after being used. You do it on Pokemon Showdown, the opponent has to give you dollars after. You know what that means, folks? That means if you were to money. use three Make It Rains in a row, it's still stronger than using three Flash Cannons in a row. Yes, that math does check out, and you can try it yourself. So, this is going to be really, really cool, in my opinion. Um, do you do that math in your head? Yeah. It's 120 yeah. plus 80 plus 60, which is more than 240. Which is Flash Cannon friend. next three. Thank you. You're a good friend. You're a good friend. The good thing about Goldango, guys, is that its speed is incredible. 84 speed, 133 special attack. Why'd they give the Steel Ghost? Dude, that's what I'm that? saying, bro. They like like the, the, the first of all, the stats are amazing, right? 550. Yeah. This is better than a lot of, of Paradox, it, guys. All of its stats are good. It has nasty plot in its Thunder. 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 Thunderbolt. Focus, focus blast, blast. Trick. Power. Like, Shadow bro, like, Ball. why? Ball. Right? Shadow Ball consistent stab. I, I think just like Specs is gonna be nasty. T yeah, Bolt because so T Bolt hits the, the bulky waters. Um This is so nasty. This is really so you nasty. Literally, you literally run choice specs with Thunderbolt, Focus Blast, make it rain on them hoes, and then like Make it rain on them hoes. The and then Shadow Ball. Literally, yeah. yeah you might as well run Focus steel, Blast. Dude. Fucking Oko the Steel type. You don't want it to yeah. No, this yeah. is this is my this is like literally top three for me. Alongside C this Titan. So he he's up there. He's go then go go then go. I man. cannot wait, yo. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, that basically concludes it. I think this is gonna be a big OU threat. That's for for damn sure. As well. like, what the hell? Move pool is gorgeous, but yeah, guys, we kind of rushed it up at the. Folks, I'm back. I just realized that we forgot to talk about the Pokemon that come after the Paradox forms because I was like, wait a minute, didn't I forget Tinkaton? Joe had to go. Don't worry, I'm not gonna talk about any of the Paradox Mons or the new Quartet just because. I mean, I'm gonna do specific videos way super in depth on those Pokemon. They're like. By far the greatest Pokemon in this generation. Same with the legendaries, Coridon, Maridon. These are like these are the goats, right? Uh, quick glance though at the quartet. They're all amazing. The greatest one is definitely Chan Pao. This is basically Mega Weavile. We got 130 speed on this guy. 135. Sorry, not 130. 135. Even more broken. 120 attack. Swords Dance. Ice Spinner. Uh, Icicle Crash. Sucker Punch. Sacred Sword. This thing even gets Recover, which I mean its defenses are pretty mediocre and it's an sd pokemon but the big kicker is this thing's ability this thing's ability is sword of ruin the power of the pokemon's ruinous sword lowers the defense stat of all pokemon except itself now this is a field effect style ability the way it works is that when shampoo is out in uh in battle the opponent's defense is basically 25 percent lowered that's what they figured out uh through playing in game that the opponent's defense is basically 25 percent lower well, this is crazy for a physical attacker with 135 base speed. Not to mention, Weavile showed us that Dark Ice is one of the greatest offensive typings possible. So we're definitely going to see this thing with Swords Dance, Sucker Punch, Icicle Crash, Sacred Sword, that kind of thing. Uh, in my opinion, this mod is likely to get banned uh, pretty quickly into the metagame. 135 speed I don't think can be balanced. 120 attack is really good. Uh, and it's not even 120. It's stronger because 
you decrease all of your opponent's defenses by 25%. So Xian Pao is going to be nasty. That's just the one that I really, really wanted to talk about because these are all the Paradox guys. But yeah, do a Paradox video later. Xian Pao is the one. Wo Qian, Qi Yu, and Ting Lu. Wo Qian is an yet another Grass Dark that I don't feel like getting too in-depth into just because I think this is quite mediocre as a Mon. Um, it's not like... It's not terrible, but Tablets of Ruins is cool. It's like Junior Intimidate. It's 25%. You lower it instead of a third. Moveset-wise, it's okay, but this thing has the same problems that all Grass uh, Darks have, which is they're weak to everything, and their support move pool isn't good. It gets way too much competition from the other Grass Darks in the tier. Ting Lu and Chi Yu are both really, really awesome. Ting Lu is the Dark Ground, I believe. So... This thing I really like because its defenses are out of this world. 155 HP, 125 defense, 80 spadef, and this thing's ability drops the opponent's special attack 25%, which beefs up your 80 spadef. So in combination with 155 HP and 125 defense, which is sky high, this is like Mega Mudsdale to me. Uh, attack is good at 110, speed's shit, but I see this mom putting in ridiculous amounts of work. It's going to be one of the greatest tanks. Assault Vest is probably going to be a really, really, really hard set to beat. But I really like moves like Spikes, Whirlwind, stuff like that. So I don't know if I would really run Assault Vest personally, but that's going to be good. Chi Yu is the fire one. This guy's going to be awesome. So his stat distribution, 135 special attack, 100 speed, 120 spadef. Those are the highlights. The other three are a little mediocre. Fire dark type. Its ability is the Beads of Ruin, which drops the opponent's spadef like 25%, right? It's that type of field effect. So that's what I'm definitely waiting on. So for me, a big part of Chi Yu though, like because it's 100 speed and 135 special attack, I understand the ability is great. A big part of me was trying to figure out how is this thing going to be better than Blacephalon, right? Which is ghost fire, better speed, better special attack, and still has an amazing ability. So when I was looking through it though, this thing's move pool, it's not too bad. I mean, it has the moves it needs, right? Fire Blast, Flamethrower, Dark Pulse, but coverage is severely lacking. That being said, I'm sure we'll, we'll simply see choice sets with this. Spec, Scarf, call it a day, move on. Next, we got the Ubers. Like I said, Koraiden, Maraiden. Koraiden the Fight Dark. I love this guy's design a lot. He looks very intimidating. He's like a standing-ass Groudon, so I really do fuck with his design. Um, shit's heat. Uh, Oricalcum Aura, Pulse? I don't know how to say this, I'm sorry. Anyways, sets up Harsh Sunlight and boosts Koraiden's attack stat. Maraiden. Sets up Electric Terrain, boosts his special attack, plus two. They both have really good coverage. Fighting Dragon, gets close combat, gets all the dragon moves. Koraiden gets access to Swords Dance, Earthquake, Flare Blitz. So Flare Blitz takes advantage of the sun. Koraiden's pretty good. I was sleeping on him at first. Sleeping on him as much as you can sleep on a Pokemon with this kind of stats. But I was sleeping on it at first. I was kind of hating. And then I realized that it's just, a, it's just worse than Maraiden. As a Pokemon itself, Koraiden is still amazing. 135, 135, it's definitely going to Ubers. Um, defenses are amazing too, so I'm looking forward to this. Maraiden, Electric Dragon. So because Maraiden sets up Electric Terrain and this ability, Hadron Engine or whatever, um, starts the terrain for... Yeah, it starts the terrain and boosts your special attack. Pretty sure this guy's going to be even more broken than Koraiden. You really only have to run Draco... Volt Switch, Thunderbolt, it gets Parabolic Charge, the uh, recovery move, but that's only 65 base power, so I don't think it's too good. Stats are amazing, though. 135 Special Attack, 135 Speed, and this shit gets access to Overheat for some odd reason to hit Steels and, uh, what's it called? To hit Steels and Grasses. So the two Ubers are, I mean, these are two definite Ubers, but I'm definitely going to be using them in OU for the first day. Tinkaton. Unfortunately, everybody and their mom was hyped for Tinkaton. Let me just open up the rest of these guys in the next few tabs because there's not too many. Everybody and their mom was hyped for Mr. Tink. Mr. Tinkaton was literally like, when, when we all heard about that move, Gigaton Hammer, we were all excited. But unfortunately, this world isn't as just as you may think. Okay, so let's talk about Tink. Tinkaton has some good abilities. Mold Breaker, Pickpocket, not bad, but Mold Breaker is definitely the best one. Fairy Steel is an awesome, awesome typing. We've seen that on Klefki in the past, which it was good on, and, uh, of course, Mega Mawile. So when I first saw this thing's design, I was like, oh, my God, it's the new Mawile. I can't wait, right? Gigaton Hammer, 160 base power steel type move. 
The user swings its whole body around to attack with a huge hammer. The move can't be used twice in a row. 160 base power steel, ridiculously strong. And it's not hyper beam, meaning that you're stuck the next turn in there. You just can't use it the next turn. So you can protect, you can do something else, you just can't use Gigaton Hammer again. So when I saw this move, I was like, oh, this is going to be the shit. This mod is going to be crazy. Rest of the moves, coverage-wise, it gets access to knockoff, like Mawile used to. Not bad. Uh, Brick Break, if you know you want fighting coverage, even though it's weak. Still has Swords Dance. Play Rough, other coverage there. Ice Hammer, which is crazy. What physical attacker wouldn't want Ice Move to nail Landorus, Gliscor, all them stuffs when they come back? So Ice Hammer is amazing too. But then I saw the stats and I cried a single tear. 94 speed is okay, but not 75 attack. Hitting 249, this is mouse hold 2.0. Unfortunately, 75 attack is going to be really hard to justify. Don't care. Using it anyway. Next, Armorage. So this one's heat. I like this joint a lot. Very cool design. Um, flash fire or weak armor, whatever you would want to go with. Fire Psychic's cool. It's that Victini Delphox typing, so you can't really go wrong with that. The only issue with Armorage, something that did make me sad, is that 75 speed is really, really, really bad. Right? 125 special attacks heat, but look at my boy Delphox, who got Focus Blast and Nasty Plot this gen. Like, bruh, why, why did this get 75 speed? Really, really fucked. That being said, moves are still really good. Gets access to Overheat, Calm Mind, Energy Ball. Shadow Ball, Dark, like Dragon Pulse. Like it, it has cool coverage moves, but that 75 speed, fire types are known for being offensive juggernauts, right? You need these things to get off the attack. And in a metagame, or just in Pokemon general, when there's so many offensive fire types, like, think, it's like we were talking about all the new fire ghosts, and they're all fast and they're all strong. How is this guy with 75 speed, I know he's fire psychic, but how is this guy supposed to compare? Psychic's not even as good as an offensive typing as ghost. So I don't know. This mon, I'm a little... I'm a little sad. Armor cannon is cool, though. The user shoots its own armor out as pro blazing projectiles, and this also lowers the user's defense and spit-f stats. This fire blast, but it doesn't... Uh, this is like close comp. This, this is an ass move, actually, because he drops your defenses, and it's not even 10% stronger than fire blast, so I'm not feeling it. Sarah Ledge, this is one of my favorite designs of the new generation, a fire ghost-type Pokemon. Looks amazing. This thing's stats are a little bit better with 85 base speed. Still not good, but... We can make use of this, and I'm going to show you why. So 125 base attack. Amazing physical options. Close combat. Phantom Force is whatever. You don't, really, you don't really need to look at that. It gets SD, and then where is its signature move? That is the thing I want to look at. Its signature move is Bitter Blade. The user focuses its bitter feelings towards the world of the living into a slashing attack. Damn, that is edgy Pokemon. The user's HP is restored by up to half the damage taken by the target. This move is crazy. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. This fire type... Recovery move is really cool off the 125 attack. It does get access to Swords Dance, which is really good too. Shadow Claw, close combat. The coverage is fine, right? Shadow Claw, unfortunately, is pretty weak as far as stab moves go, but I think this thing is going to get the job done. Does it get Sneak? Damn, no Sneak is really, really, really tough. If it had Sneak, it would have been crazy, but I'll be using this. Swords Dance, close combat, Bitter Blade. This will be fun. This will be fun. Unfortunately... Both the things going for these things, or both the things going against these guys is that their speed stats are just shit, and that's something that they're, they're both just going to have to hold. Next up, we have one of my favorites, Toad's Cruel. Hilarious, hilarious design. Mycelia Might is tough. The Pokemon will always act more slowly when using status moves, so you'll go last, but these moves will be unimpeded by the ability of the target. So, the reason I like this is because you can Spore Overcoat Pokemon like Mandibuzz, which I think is really cool, and I believe this Pokemon does indeed get Spore. Gets access to Earth Power, Power Whip. The stat distribution is the exact same as regular Cruel. So, pretty interesting. You know, you got 100 speed, which is always one of Tentacruel's best uh, assets. Great Spit F. Decent HP. Workable Special Attack. Leech Seed, Spore, Toxic Spin, Knock Off. Gets all amazing support moves. Leaf Storm, Earth Power, Sludge Bomb. So that's like <laughs> T-Spike still. Spikes, Taunt off the 100 speed? Whoa. School is going to be up there, guys. School is going to be up there. 100 base speed with the double spikes, spin, spore. Are you kidding me? No, this one is nice. The only issue is the spores goes, it spore goes last, which is going to probably fuck it over a lot more than it's going to help. <laughs> yeah, the fact that this thing spore goes last is the one thing that's going to hurt it, but... I'm using Toad Scroll. This is on my in-game team. 
King Gambit, you know I had to talk about this, and I know it's last up, but you know we had to talk about the GOAT. King, the design is amazing. Supreme Overlord, so you can run Defiant or Supreme Overlord. This is insane. I believe it boosts your attack by 1.1 or 1.2 for every Mon that dies. This guy is absolutely hilarious. So, his uh, signature move, Kotal Cleave, the user slashes the target after Kotal, I don't know what this is, to make the target let down his guard. Attack never misses. So, in a world where knockoff was taken from everybody, this is about as good as it gets, guys. N can never miss, and it has 85 base power. Other than that, this guy's going to be running the same set as Bisharp ran. Swords Dance, get Sucker Punch, right? Get Sucker Punch, Swords Dance, Sucker Punch, Iron Head, and then that signature move. 135 attack, absolutely incredible defense is 100, 120, 85, and shit speed. Don't believe the memes. Evilei Bisharp is whatever. This is going to be the big dog. I'm telling you. Evilei Bisharp is literally not better than this. I can guarantee you that. So I'm very much looking forward to this. It's going to be a blast. It's going to be a blast. Get ready. Next up, we have Big Claude Zire. Now, I love Claude Zire's uh, design. I love its ability being water absorb on a poison ground type. It just gets the job done. Has a lot of nice resistances. Now, it is neutral to the majority of stuff, but the one fourth poison resists the fighting stuff. Immune completely to water, immune to electric. Like, this is cool. And it, uh, it's what's it called it resists fairy. It's just very, very annoying. Support wise, this thing gets amazing moves. It gets regular quag bullshit with recover and earthquake and all that, but it also gets access to T spikes, poison jab, toxic. Again, toxic got nerfed this generation, so that's something that we'd love to see. Um,. What else do we got here? So, yep, spikes, T-spikes, like I said. Gunk shot, but you're not going to really be running that on defensive Pokemon. It gets access to rock. So this thing gets triple hazard potential if you really would want to do that. Gets recover, gets haze, just like annoying ass stall Quagsire. I'm running Quagsire for sure. 130 HP, 100 speed F, absolutely amazing. The speed is whatever. 20 speed's actually pretty shit, but it's not like I was using Quagsire because of its amazing speed back when it was a water ground. So I'll be using this guy. Really good spit F typing. Poison ground uh, just allows you to switch into so much annoying shit like Moonblast. You get up all your hazards too, so you're never really a sitting duck. Yeah. Claude Zire is the goat. Next we have Annihilate. Yes. Last but not least. One of the funnier mons. Fighting Ghost. Funny ass design. I love this thing's, uh, what's it called? Design. Like it's, it's just so angry. It looks so old and like... Just depressed. I don't know. He just looks like he's been going through some shit. Good abilities. Vital Spirit. Inner Focus. Defiant. Probably see Defiant the most. Does this thing get Stealth Rock? Yes, it does. So you'll probably see Stealth Rock Defiant on this, like Primate. But 90 speed, 115 attack is what we're working with. But the defenses are pretty decent with 110, 80, 90. Really can't go wrong with that. Gets Close Combat. Gets Phantom Force, which, eh. Does it get Geist? Fortunately, it does not. Gets all the elemental punches, which is pretty cool. Specifically, Ice Punch and Thunder Punch. Shadow Claw, U-Turn. We'll probably see a choice to set on this guy. Rage Fist. Huh. That's interesting. I'll have to look up the mechanics of this. But, yeah, Annihilate will be a fun little lower tier mod. I don't really see anything. I don't really see anything. Um too crazy about him like ghost fighting is obviously an amazing typing we remember uh marsh shadow and how good that was it got like insta banned but i don't know the moves aren't too good like I, I if he had last respects he'd be heat but we'll see we might see some u-turn close combat choice stuff but yeah that's gonna be that guys i know it kind of sped up towards the end and joe had to leave but it was a lot of mons and we had some other shit to do but hope you guys enjoyed drop a big like gonna have a bunch of vids going up streaming all that good stuff especially if the game goes live tonight on showdown best believe i'm streaming but Give this a big like. Let me know in the comments below what you think, what I missed on. And yeah, see you guys soon. Peace.